welcome, welcome, one and all. I'm Raj, and welcome back to the world of Kaiseriker. So, um, a few things I was thinking of doing today, but the main one I've ended up deciding on is I'm going to make the Austrian Empire fucking strong. It's actually a pretty decent nation to begin with. From what I know, out of all the um, cra oh, crazy ones here, there's a lot of shit I need to contend with, but I don't know, unlike some others, I'm not just completely le uh, destroyed by uh, negatives and shit. So, we'll see how it goes, though. For now, starting off with all the sort of generic, this is just going to boost us stuff. Uh, we'll get in with, you know, a bunch of extra civilian factories. Bam, bam. And in terms of progress, holy shit, I didn't even realise that I had none of these up and selected. Four. Extra one on there, extra two on there actually. Most of them can produce it, one only. <coughs> so, Austria is in one of these really unique positions where they're fucking strong. Get him, Mindy. Mm. Hydrating with tea right now, I guess. Welcome to the chat. Anyway, yeah, in terms of freaking other productions though that we're going to be getting into, uh, for the moment, we don't really have an amazing fucking navy or anything being built. Uh, these ones here, as I come up, yeah, not exactly the most impressive. They're alright. These will actually be better than some others. Your sub ran out? <laughs> yeah, fair cop. Anyway, um, but yeah, in terms of that, yeah, I just... You don't have much impressive shit for <laughs> for the Austro-Hungarians. Fuck me, I actually think we've <coughs> still essentially got pre dreads somewhere in this fleet. Uh, let's have a quick look-see in our ship list. Heavies, Hunyadis. Yeah, I think that's the uh, these, the Redskies. Uh, where are they sitting at? Interwars... Uh, da -da, that's Tegelhoffs, uh, Onyari, Hunyaris. Nope, I don't even know where the hell these ones are. Alright, here we go. <coughs> nope, escort cruisers. Apparently these are heavy ships for me. Yeah, that's not what I'd call it. That's an interesting one. Anyway, whatever. There's a bunch of terrible, terrible ships. I've quite prime in two days. <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. I mean... Doesn't really matter too much though, does it, man? <laughs> Alright, for the moment, let's get started. Just a bunch of normal stuff, and we'll actually read the little intro scroll. Despite standing amongst the victors of the Welk Kring, the war revealed the divisions of culture, class, and ideology within the Empire ever so clearly. The inner unrest continued on as the war ended. Kaiser Karl followed in the footsteps of the assassinated Franz Ferdinand in trying to reform the multinational Austro-Hungarian Empire to something that could survive in the 20th century. The launched a series of large-scale reforms, however his efforts were largely blocked by nobility of the Hungarian side of the Empire, leading to his plans of feder uh, federation, uh, progressing only slowly, and only on uh, the Silesian uh, side of the Empire? Him, I could just say Austria, but whatever. Anyway. However, many feel that there is hope for Austria. The last decades were hard on the Empire, but that efforts started paying off. Austria, now a federa uh, federation state, has calmed down, but the same cannot be said for... Fucking Hungary. Jesus. <laughs> okay, it is, however, unlikely that the Carpathian Basin will continue to remain in Magia hands, since Hungary's people have been gazing upon the liberties across the Letha, wishing to have such autonomy for themselves. Anyway, long story short, they're not going to have autonomy. None of these people are going to have autonomy. I am going to be one fucking massive empire. So yeah. Oh yeah, I got voting rights over there for reasons. <laughs> I also forget about that. I'll have to try to do some stuff. I don't know. Oh yeah, so you'll see the VF come up a bit. That's um, these guys. Basically the national populace. <laughs> kind of think Nazis, but not that sort of Nazi. <laughs> They're just um, 
Authoritarians with social oh, with socialist leanings that aren't copy. Weird, but in kind of the ma only major difference being uh, important to the state rather than you know the ideology. <clears throat> so that's all neither here nor there really. Uh, let's quickly check out our two divisions here. We got artillery in that one, and we have that one just being small one. Alright, as far as I can tell, I want to just turn them all over to the infantry ones then. Let them all build up. You can never escape poverty, all that jazz. There you go, and now that that's done, I think I can actually do a focus? Or do I still need to wait? I still need to wait. Oh, that's fine. Black data, Austria. Yep, cool, got all that. Obviously I can't actually do anything about that yet. Just a pain in the bum. I actually still have a decent amount of uh, political power gain in this country, which is nice. Withdrawal from the Italian Republic. Okay. Oh, you used to have a choice in that. Can't do that anymore. That's weird. <coughs> so, <coughs> yeah, since Federation begun, Austria elections were mostly reduced to German-speaking part of the Empire. Two major parties dominate the CS and the SDAP. Part four to still appears they have very different ideas. The other's ongoing economic crisis. Yada yada yada. Uh, with a focus on employment benefits versus the government intervention, the CS on the other hand follow program severe austerity measures. So I'm going to be going down the CS, sir. Nah, I don't know. I think I just breathed and shit, you know, wrong. Breaking <laughs> it earlier today, which uh, paid in the bum, but is what it is. Father France was to participate. Yeah, nah, fuck off. The VF complains. Make about coming denial. Yeah, meh. Social conservatives, I think, yeah, I do want to be embracing the CS. Alright, what is this one? Social, uh, social Democrat, I'd prefer if the close success of a joint government as their own. <coughs> Which one was this? Today, my district with the SDP, CS Major Spirit, but a speech of political rules, I heard by Carl Renner. Yeah. Adelaide did. I don't remember which ones to go exactly for a lot of this. Oh, it'll be interesting to see. First, I didn't uh, do the whole joint one, I guess. Or. Because, yeah. What I'm after really going is social conservative, I believe, huh? Because there. It's not right that one, but, you know. Eh. We'll go for the minor one. <clears throat> the Roots of Obsession. Hawthi has found, uh, found himself going with the ideas of money more and more. What? <coughs> <laughs> That's weird. Uh, sorry for coughing a fair bit, too. Biddle. Weird. The other high ups of few have taken notice behind his back, worrying and pending obsession. A few highest ranks have already begun attempting to suppress any who want for such copious amounts of money. Yeah? What? <laughs> this is a new one, to be honest. Uh, but as we have so much money, it will be difficult. Hawthorne himself has noticed it's stra uh, strange that he is being talked to like this. The whole pirate thing at all. Now it's what? Okay, that's weird. Now. Nah. Actually, for all I know, it could be, but nah. And Adam, I'm coughing pretty ba I'm bad today after I uh, breathed in some bad, bad shit while I was out, so nothing major there. The CS invites Prince Otto to hunt. Bourgeoisie, the Catholic Church, and the conservative countryside usually remains from holding public events in Vienna. Prince Otto was formally invited to join the hunt. Uh, sure. I liked it. See that go? 80% chance of it all being good? <clears throat> I will see how that heads up. It could be though, freaking, you never know. Uh, freaking, um, I was bloody, uh, it, the coronavirus has freaking popped up around this region at the moment, so, <laughs> pain in the ass. Anyway, following the hunt, a uh, feast was held during which the radio interview with several prominent CS figures, but also Prince Otto was recorded. It seems like this was on purpose. Prince Otto is now associated with the party and support amongst devoted subjects. Yada yada. Hey. 
Yeah, fucking dumb. People are being dumb. That's basically the best way to sum up most of what's been going on. <laughs> God, I'm actually losing guns and artillery while I do that too. Alright, so I can't really trade up at the moment. Uh, I'll trade up later. Little roll about Victoria and make them pay for it. Honestly, we'd find idiots finding ways around that too, so meh. <clears throat> How exciting! Oh yeah, actually that reminds me too, before we uh, really get all this sorted... Ah, all of you are already in one spot. That's what it does. All of you joined one fleet. I think these are my actual ocean-going ships here. And the last one is these two? Well, this is the reserves fleet, so uh, that can go down there too. Because yeah, I think these are the older ships that can't really do anything. Alright, general elections, CS won that, woohoo. So let's go down to our national austerity and all that jazz. Group that up. Uh, what is the range of these ones? 27 and 1500. So yeah, all good. I might just need to remove a couple of uh, destroyers later. This is fine, though. Ah, which does remind me really quick, though. Because I should make sure that all these are set to go to the right spot. Bam. What do I actually have for resources out here now in Kaiserreich? Um, fair bit of steel still. Alright, that's alright. Look forward to taking out freaking Hungary and all that. Their manpower, their stuff, I love it. Anyway, for now though, yeah, fuel storage, that's cool. We are going to get the synthetic one here off the bat too. VF organized protest, lethal force and cake, Jesus. <laughs> bit much. Because, yeah, one of my big plans right now is I do want to, you know, emphasize the Alpine divisions and all that jazz. Because these are amazingly well fought and I can use a shitload less of them. So if I can get a good number of them, I could probably take on, you know, uh, Switzerland here or something else. Huh? Well, it's not too early for me. It's um, two or three in the afternoon now. So, yeah. Um, and I will be streaming until late again tonight, since I've got an armor main mission on that I want to play as well. Will be good. So yeah, should be probably about seven to nine hours of content. Be nice. Yeah, I've been, I was a little busy. Holy shit, French National Workers State's been doing its thing. right oh, they're all lame. Which way are the French going? Ah, they go and continue the Patane Presidency. Sweet. Australia's doing their normal path. East Republic. Probably should be. There's been actually a lot of fun shit going on on there. <coughs> yeah, I'll never be able to catch your armor streams. Nah, probably not. What the fuck? Uh, a recent uh, upturn of pirates have been noticed around the uh, Mediterranean Sea. Specifically in the Adriatic. Where captains have noticed faraway flags of the Jolly Roger waving on destroyers and submarines. No casualties have been noted yet. Red of What? Ask our trusted Admiral Horthy to take down. Okay. Fucking. When Nicholas Horthy, Admiral of the Australian Pole, was approached with <coughs> his order to hunt down the pirates, he presented an alternate, more, more profitable method of dealing with the pirates. He suggested that we try to negotiate with them and stop targeting us. And in return, we'll pay them just enough money to satisfy their greed. The proposition was a shock to the parties involved, who were split, as per usual. And of course, actions, but it was decided in a vote that Horthy was to attempt diplomatic uh, procedures first. He's hoping. If you say so. Firstly speaking, I don't get him to raid the shit out of the commies, but hey, that's, that's just me. Yeah, ta <coughs> time zones do suck on the occasion, but what can you do? <laughs> Influence in the Milan government, huh? Alright. In 1919, we forced the Kingdom of Italy to sign the Treaty of Rome, which reorganised Italy into a federation led by the Habsburg Grand Duke of Tuscany. <coughs> in the following civil war, however, we allied with the White Rebel Faction, 
And together, we barely held the social, uh, socialists at the Poe, ending the war. Subsequently, we forced the whites to formally renounce their nas uh, nationalist claims, and as the Republic of Lombardy and Venice joined the Federation. We did concede the Republican leader would be the interim head of the Federation through the Federation Council, would retain some power behind the scenes. Unfortunately, the Federation Council was allowed to lapse in 1929 and has not been renewed since. Even worse, sir, we recently withdrew our military from the nation due to Black Monday crisis, leaving them far more independent than they were. <laughs> now, the current Liberal leader, uh, under Avano Bonomi, has pushed forward the election and bid more support in the legisl uh, legislature. However, their victory is not a sure thing, and we have some leeway to influence the election. The three moderate parties have a real chance at winning are Liberal Democracies, currently in power, the People's Party, a Conservative Party, who has enjoyed our support in the past, and the Italian Republicans, hostile to monarchy, but also vehemently anti-ANI and anti-socialist. We can give our support and backing to one of the pro-Austrian political parties to ensure the right one takes power in Milan. Some ministers, however, are concerned that overt involvement might result in further support for far-right and anti-Austrian nationalist association. I'll support the People's Party. God, my political power. What's sucking it so hard right now? God, that's right, I still don't actually have freaking, um... I'm only just started going down those ones. Greek seizes Austrian assets. I can apply, express our outrage. Nah, leave them be, we're just trying to cope. I would like to get Greece and part of this whole thing together later. Nah, not white power, freaking, um... Weight in this, in this regard would be the same way the, um... Russian whites were a thing. So just not reds. <laughs> I don't know what socialist promises are, but I want to remove it. Socialist promises. Yep, that's sucking my fucking political power gains. So let's get rid of that. Yeah. Drink more. I might drink more. Uh, for now I'm just having a tea, but I do intend to actually be having a decent amount of... Uh, I'll probably drink the rest of my beer until the game tonight where I'll probably swap to my bourbon. Alright, Hawthy. You know what? I'm going to give you charge of my big fleet. <clears throat> Some test construction of dockyards. How should I have put to be constructed in coastal Illyrian city of Fume? When asked by Hawthy set uh, sent to store the ships he intended to acquire soon, but did not specify how soon was the construction over time. Wow, set naval base to five. Huh? All right, cool beans. I mean, I know that freaking there's a good chance that he's gonna take Fume off and just be a crazy fucking pirate, but we'll see how it goes. Huh? Come forth, white warrior. <laughs> but let's specify soon was Fume is accepted. All right. Well, yep, you guys do you. But yeah, let's see who we got. Novik, and I do have a guy for my submarines. Huh? He's a trap. Huh? <laughs> I feel like a trap leading my wolf packs is funny. Oh, don't ask me why. <clears throat> uh, well, Savage itself, as it, tur it turns out, is kind of set in where it goes, so you probably won't be seeing any more Savage. But I might do some diff uh, different stuff. Anyway, let's also get the first uh, military doctrine here. Uh, because that is a fucking nice one. Uh, which also reminds me, freaking... I might contemplate justifying war goals on freaking some people. Subsidies for farmers or fill the coffers. Let's fill the coffers first. So yeah, that's Black Monday right now, which will get me 10% more stability as well, which will be nice. Because, yeah. Uh, divided Society, what's that one doing to me? Uh, 0.25. I do need to remove that one as well. Huh? Uh, the one I sent you a while back was good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry it was. I haven't uh, loaded them up yet to fully check out them all. As I said, uh, 
back to doing shit, so I'm like, eh, this what is. Wait, hold on, Crate's its own thing? I thought Crate only became its own thing. Alright, never mind, I might be crazy. The light's not over China. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of, <laughs> China is currently going inside. How's Japan looking at the moment? Oop, ah, sorry for opening the console there, freaking up, smacked up. There you go. Drop shit. There we go. Oh, but yeah, China's looking pretty cool. Oh, not China, fucking Japan. Nothing major at the moment. What way is the, these guys going? Establish a Chinese division. Lyria ushering out our companies, huh? <clears throat> oh, do I need a, do I need to come in there with a bitch slap? I might need to come in there with a bitch slap. Alright, just to get 77 is going to take me a lot of days. <coughs> oh, pirates turned to our side. Admiral Horthy has told us his successive diplomacy with the pirates of the Adriatic. He's turned them to our side successfully, and according to Horthy, we will not target ships bearing the Austrian flag. However, this means that Illyrian ships will have to bear the Austrian flag in the case they were already equipped with the Illyrian flag. A pirate delegate was with Horthy as well, who confirmed all of his statements. But something seemed wrong to a few members of the meeting. None of them can point it out, but say that the pirates may have duped us. For now, though, as long as they don't target our ships, we will mind our own business and not interfere with theirs. We did it! The madman! Oh, and I can actually add a point now. So put myself up to early mover. Or alternatively, <clears throat> find something more useful here. Is there any of these I could do? I could get the Alpine one there, it makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, this will make sense. Industrial research is great, and the sooner we construct military and civilian factories, the better. So, if we can get that going along, it'd be really, really fucking nice, sir. Now we're 10% faster on them. Colonia has joined the Rex Pact, because that shit's gonna go crazy over there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to just let him go because I'm really, really keen to see uh, this fucking Pirate Republic shit start up. It... I mean, that being said, I think if I let him go to being a pirate, I think I'd lose him completely as an admiral. And he is a decent admiral, though. Uh, I suppose I've, I've got others I can trade up to it. Yeah, good luck. Let's let's see the pirate be its thing. And Admiral Gottfried von Banfield, huh? Congratulations, you now lead my main fleet. Well, I definitely want to make like a a dreadnought type vessel, like a real big one, huh? Do I actually have dreadnoughts? I do, don't I? No, I don't. What? How the fuck do I not? Horthy settles in Fume. After the Admirals arrived at Lyria, further details arrived. He was settled in Fume, close to Slovenia and the coast. This was the place, the construction of the shipyards after all. It's an appropriate location. Hopefully the house he has prepared is enough for him looking at the dockyards he ordered. Great place for him. I don't know how close I want to be, but I definitely want them just there. Alright. Hello. They're doing their thing. Well, hopefully the AI doesn't fuck up that war, because I actually really like a strong uh, German East Asia. I don't know, it always seems good to me. Ah. Build coffers, awesome. Let's get more of the inflation under control. Because yeah, I'll slowly gain that back, and that is getting me a decent amount of political power each. Huh? More than the divided nation really is right now, anyway. Can't really get any of those at the moment. Damn it. Oh yeah, and I am playing with a thing which uh, gives maximum supported divisions of that too. So I have a limited number of divisions that I can actually get up to. So does Germany, so does all these other miners. It's actually pretty cool. Huh? Uh, I don't know. I just like play, playing around with it a bit. Uh, so far, it's been looking pretty sick. And it should hopefully stop the random AI spam of, like, 
two wit divisions, which they will do sometimes. All right. So far, I haven't really changed the. I have seen it change the balance of the game all too much in my little bit of testing with it. Basically speaking, it just, well... It kind of stopped the spam, but overall it's like a lot of minor nations can still overwhelm a larger one if they're still got a power enough industry backing them. So, you know, I don't know. Take that as you will. We'll see how it goes. It's actually one of the reasons I wanted to play as um, Austria-Hungary here. I just think freaking uh, this would be a very, very good place to start off with. Uh... Alright, let's see this stuff. Achieving such a dangerous man of individuals is bound to backfire. Eventually, backfire it has. Suspicion to grab the attention's too clean. Pirates we have made a treaty with have arisen. Enough suspicion to let demand a new policy towards them. They will be attacked at sea while Horthy is absent. Yeah, sure. I don't know how that's going to go, but be interesting. Alright, let's start going down the radios too. I'm not gonna start off on uh, the fire control systems. I think I might be able to get to the improved fire control system before I start really making and designing ships of my own. No? Oh yeah, you know. Force of it though, let's actually have a quick look see. Uh, which ones are these? The Meteor classes. So these have a couple of guns, depth charges, no sonar. They don't have sonar at all. So we definitely need to edit those. And the other ones have a few more torpedoes. So the Hertz of classes are the better ones to build off the bat. Huh? Defeat at sea, independent attack, backfire immensely, the planes and ships sink navy, secret submarines. There is no doubt Horthy will hear about our treason. Horthy were never trusted to get after this, all that work for nothing. The military is sent to fume to arrest Horthy on suspicious claims of piracy, result of failure in this operation. Okay. Well, can't wait to see how that goes! <laughs> I still think they're going to split off on their own thing, but I'm kind of keen to see how it ends up. Also, if that splits off, can I keep this, sir? Huh? Because that's another few slots, extra bit of population, nothing major. And it would be something I could steal away from them. Church of Soldiers, sent to Fume, Dane Horthy were met by fierce soldiers of both oppositions on land, buildings were manned and ready. Incursion, gunfire, surprising number, far too large compared to expressions, men getting ground. Problems in cities, this moves on a problem. Hey Illyria, you don't mind me doing this in your fucking place, do ya? Like, a hundred percent. hundred percent I'm here to murder the shit out of you guys, and I'd love to do that and get all the Illyrian coast to myself. But, uh, you know, you don't mind, do you? Oh, Illyria's against me. Ha <laughs> Alright, we've got these synthetic experiments too. Let's keep going down these ones. Let's get these two. Do we have mountains? We will be dealing with mountains, so for now... Get these guys heading down towards Split. Okay, cool. That's all good. Inflation's getting under control. All that jazz. Woohoo. Free City of Fume is declared, huh? It's core on few. We'll get them eventually. Answer ha for menace fume stands. Wait, does this change me over to being it? Yeah, there's no difference here, except for whether or not I get to play them. I think we'll get them eventually. Oh, an Illyria's in there. Is there anything here that I can do to, like, murder them off the bat? Sorry, I'm just waiting to see if an event fires that allows me to declare war on them. Pirates Harvard, long meetings, Horthy did indeed make a treaty with them, with commanders, the pirates force. He's given the orders, stuff Hustrid shipping, now that he was exposed, Hustrid ships been torpedoed by the lurking submarines. 
Grand Admiral Horthy. Alright, I'll admit this actually seems hilarious. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's load the last autosave really quick, because I think uh, the other one might allow me to go in and attack them. I don't know, I'm just going to double check it. If not, I'm just going to tag back out to Austria, there won't be much of a difference. Deflation shadow control, careful beginnings, yada yada yada. We'll get them eventually. Yeah, this is changing me over to Fuma. Wow, I actually have a Decent cruiser in that too. Heavy pirate cruiser. Yeah, it's alright. I wouldn't actually use it, but hey. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, now let's go back to that. If we can get these guys around here, nice and easy. Wait, can I justify? I'd very, very much like to just try to murder them off the bat. Nope, not yet. <clears throat> the Fortress City, that's gonna suck. Mind you, I know exactly how I'm gonna fucking do this, though. I'm just gonna let them out of there, probably push out here, and uh, then I'll just push into the city with, like, when it's only got a division. <laughs> wow. No way he's joined the Third International. Interceptors. Submarines. It's great Newfoundland? Newfound lands? What? <laughs> ah, and I got mobile warfare. Sweet. What the fuck is that tag? Sorry, I don't know it very well. Anyway, I'm also going to research a heavy tank really quick too, because... Honestly, I feel like Austria, it's got a lot of defensive stuff. I think it'd be best to make use of heavy tanks in my little plans here. Well, Republican victory in Brazil, that's all good. Hiring hired helper. Wow. Dainu Volkskrau arrives in Vienna. <clears throat> the Germans in Africa produce extraordinary ethnological exposition, showcasing primitive customs over a thousand performers from over a hundred different tribes. Zoo-like exhibition alongside elephants, lions, and zebras. Tens of thousands. Oh, that's cool. That would have been a hell of an expedition, uh, freaking show in the fucking thirties. Imagine that. You know, at some point I actually kind of want to do an Ethiopian or Somalia run. Probably Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopia or Abyssinia, I should say. I don't. Know. Like I know they've got a hard start, but. I don't know, I feel like that'd be fun. Be like rulers of the Red Sea and all that jazz. <clears throat> well, that sucks. Authoritarian democracy is what out there. Wait, is it authoritarian? Yeah, it is authoritarian democracy, not the um, A and I. No. Yeah. Wow, modern Blackbeard. <laughs> That is a fucking amazing bonus for fucking ships, huh? Well, damn. Maybe I should try a freaking, um, City of Fume run at some point. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool, I'll be honest. Get a few. Oh, it's like preparations. Every ten years? Alright, now from memory... Hunger is state of renegade to the crown. Alright, well, for now I'm going to need to pull away from Fuma, because I'm actually fairly certain in this particular re No, no, that's that's not where I want to go at all. Come on you. Over here. There we go. Yeah, whatever. I could have one over there. Naturally, they do. Alright, now, from memory, I need to invite everyone into this, if I want to freaking, um... Take over Hungary completely. No way, this is between us. We need to vet all members of the dual monarchy. Wow, the political power's already gonna suffer. Yay. 
Let's pull you back. But yeah. Cheshire agrees to attend. We who? Hungry protests the others. Glaciers, Lyrians. Cool. I don't know why it bothers giving me back fucking those little bits of political power. I'll just... You know, I'll... It wouldn't be too bad, but... There's just... Not enough to make it worth a damn. The delegations arrive with Hungary absent. I was invited the other delegates, so I to discuss. Uh, weirdly enough, I think I need to freaking just chill for a bit. Proposes a Slovak state should be done. Still, this requires further planning. Slovakia, Transient, South Moravia. So yeah, that's from Transient here. Hmm. Yeah, sure. It's Polish Protectorate, we shall consider this. Transcarpathia. So, yep, they one freaking just over the mountains. Vodja or West Banat. Romanians. <coughs> yes, it shall happen. All of Transylvania, definitely. Ah, we'll see how this a lot goes. Because I'll admit, all that jazz, I have no intention of giving any of it away. <laughs> I am more happily going to just keep all of Hungary under me. Alright, I agree. And they shouldn't actually try to do this. Why do you keep naming on the Krusty Crew? We deal with this now. Alright, uh, but yeah, I will name one of these guys that. Uh, there you go. Alright, you bum rush best you can. Absolutely, Germany, I accept. Alright, let's see how far this goes. No one, no one cares, Alaska. I would very much like to take Budapest before any of this really goes anywhere. Oh, I just love that it bothered to leave my lines open, I just saw that. <laughs> Fucking game, you're a piece of shit sometimes. It's alright, I'll actually use these guys to fill it. You keep going there. You're good. Hey. Alright. And we're slowly going to start pushing into all of these. These guys should be wiped out very shortly. Final nails being good. Yay, Balkan Wars, because it's the Balkans. What would it be without a few good wars between them? I'm fairly certain this is not status quo too. I'm fairly certain I would need to go down the military occupation path with all this, but 
Anyway, how close are we on Austria Hungary right now? Freaking most of the way, to be honest. Ah. Ah, that's fine. Then social rift and what we need. Cool, got all that. Giant is asleep for good. Concentrated industry, yay! Uh, I don't really want to be boosting any of them right now. Let's go around. Let's get some extra mil uh, military stuff, eh? Well, if I can, I'm gonna go, uh, go up to here. If I can, which uh, is immediately a no when they start pushing it like that. Let's see, where are you going to be going, uh, coming in here? Okay, perfect, done. Pull you in there. And one more pocket here. And that's that. Let's get one of you attacking here, please. I'd very much like to not lose this. Polar falls to piracy. Where's... Oh, what? That's a problem. Alright, oh cool. Let's pull them back there for the moment. Let's quickly rush through finishing these guys off. Because, yeah, if they just move, uh, move out, what I'm honestly expecting here is just, um... Absolutely right that I want those fucking guns. Thank you. Okay, let's let all them get attacked. Perfect. Now, I don't want them going anywhere crazy. I just want them basically trying to hold there while we finish this off. There we go. Oh, right, they can take the cores that I promised. Durr. Oh, that's fine. Ah, oh, out of everyone that was involved in the war, this should be good. Let's get over here, let's quickly sort out these damn pirates, which should not be too hard. Alright, oh, let's do that, and let's kill them. Not the same problem, there we go. Can't get that. Let's at least boost that one up. Hang on, and fumes now gone too. Beautiful, done, and dusted. Alright. Continue to be occupied. Or remain occupied, huh? Alright. Now I should, yes, get military occupation, which is where I want to go down. Alrighty, uh, well for now, what else is that we need? Is there anything major here that I could go off to? Nope. 
Okay, well, nothing I can really go after here. For the moment, I guess all these guys are just gonna chill again. Let's get you guys over in Vienna. Oh, oh wait, that was a entertaining lot of stuff. I appreciate the Austrian Empire now. I do believe, freaking most of this, I can get cores on if I go down the occupation path. Austrian scheme. Uh, does it not? I swear there was a way to get it. Nope, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. It's all good for now. Tibet, all that jazz. Okay, well, they're all going to be good. Alright, well, let's start producing more artillery then, because I think I'm still well behind on that too. 49 days on them, 66 days on them. Okay. So we're good. We'll be catching back up on all this shit very shortly. Go. Go to Lyrian lands. Let's see, I don't think there's too, uh, too much here the people are after. Yeah, they're not after anything really major. So let's return our Gleason lands. Uh, yep, yeah, let's return that. And the Illyrian lands, I think, is this one? Which ones are we talking about here? Oh, they're probably talking about Fume, I'm willing to bet. Huh? Uh, the question to Karu, what I guess what the next name will be? Uh, I forget the one that you usually say, <laughs> if I'm honest. I don't suppose I could... Oh, no, that's right, I can't release that. Alright, off now, we've got that done. <laughs> Hey, I can actually go down over here too. Alright, well, first plans first. I think bloody economic rehabilitation and going to get that research slot would be the best plan off the bat. Because yeah, from there, I'll go military occupation and... Ah, what have to here? So, you continue to occupy Hungarian lands, not all your sub- not all your subjects will be happy with it. That's fine. That's fine. Lots of few unhappy subjects for an emperor. As long as I don't need to fight them all at once, because that would 100% suck. Uh, not you. Am I going to take a break from this for a moment? It looks like I will. Uh, but to go and get what is the question? Probably the AA, just because those AA points are very, very useful. Alright, well, for now, as I said, so we've got this one here, which is 100 day focus, that's fine. 50, sure. Oh, go get that. Anyway, but we had this one, which is a 70 day focus, sorry, not 100, don't ask me why I said 100. Uh, that one, so that's where I'm getting up to my 140. Okay, that's cool, 140 days, and then we can go down the military occupation, all that jazz, which shouldn't be anything too major. 0.88 a day, uh, not really much I can do to freaking boost that at the moment, too. I can go down and get Protector of the Balkans, too, which will hope which will boost me up a bit. Hopefully get more people into this empire, but we'll see how that goes in a bit. Oh wow, Greece didn't actually um, get out of that. I don't know if Greece... I don't think Greece joined the Belgrade Pact. That's interesting. Not something you usually see. Usually they join on and get the, their land back, but hey. Come on, America. Win. I believe in you. I'm sorry. Why is CSA over there? Uh, 
What the hell they got going on? Sorry, I should have read that. Uh, I was actually kind of interested in what was going on there, and I just clicked through it like an idiot. All those little things, huh? The ar armored car, freaking 23. Because it looks the same, freaking, no matter which direction it's driving. It looks like such a weird thing. Huh? I love it, huh? Oh, man. Alright, well, what are we really planning on next? Uh... Outside just continuing our focuses for a bit, we will probably be warring in the Balkans to get all that under our control. Uh, because overall, big plan is, I'd like to take out the German Empire. Have a second brother's war. You know, I wouldn't do it to, uh, I wouldn't do it, uh, while they're at war with the communists or anything, but, you know. Actually, an Argentinian war. Okay. You guys do your thing. Alright, uh, Chromium is something we're lacking, but it should be fine. We won't be lacking it forever. Oh yeah, that reminds me of going through all these. Freaking, let's actually get them onto auto split off to repairs. There we go. Got all them. We're all good. Who's justifying on us? Right, maybe, uh, that's not really a shock, I guess. But yeah. Economic rehabilitation, let's get our point there. Can I pump out enough Mountaineers to make, uh, that shit worth it? No, damn. Alright, alright, all of you up there. And you guys will be holding the flank. Now, I was kind of hoping to get the Mountaineers freaking up there, because I know they're only size 12s, so they're not the biggest group. As for always, strategically redeploy. There will never be a point to not strategically redeploy. Alright. And yeah, to be honest, this this should be a very, very easy war. At which point, the question comes, will I have a Romanian puppet, or will I have, uh... Well, a bunch of oil fields in my name. <laughs> I kind of want to take them for myself, to be honest. Because this gives me access to the Black Sea while I have access to the Mediterranean, too. Very long empire, it would be, by that point. <laughs> uh... Ah, I just don't know. How much to get 11,000 guns up a year? Obviously that's sapping a fair few of them there. Still pretty much a year. <laughs> Alright, a tuned economy right now is what we got. Hey, it's going alright. Influence of the Fatherland Front. Yeah, okay. Combat army recruitment, I do like that. I wonder if I can change that at all, actually. Uh, oop, that's not what I wanted to click. Uh, in the army stuff, expand the Austrian military. Reform stuff, central planning, superior firepower, or mobility. Alright, well none of them do anything major. Going down here, is there any major changes? Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, it gets me a modern army. Nothing too major. So, no. Alright, so that's interesting. No matter what, I keep that common recruitment, which is nice, to be honest. I'm perfectly okay with this. Ah, alright. Hey, that was destroyed. I'm a happy day, sir. Loads for small farmers isn't what's justifying. Okay, that was weird. They must have cancelled it, or failed to get it going? I don't know. Strange. I don't need two, I don't want that, don't need them, don't need them, don't need them. Okay, uh, it's probably time to start working on some aircraft. Uh, unless I can come back over here and get these faster now. No, not yet. So yeah, let's get our fighters up. Oh, and I... I do need fucking... Uh, carriers at some point, but for the moment, yeah, I, uh, 
I can't really afford to spend the extra research slot for it. Ah, collapse of the American Syndicalists. Yes! CSA has gone- will we actually- if the CSA was gone first, will we finally see fucking um, the USA proper take, take the win? I would be very keen to see that go on, huh? Alright. Uh, don't need tanks or anything. Well, that's like getting our support equipment too. I didn't realise I, I was lacking behind on them. And personally speaking, I'm willing to justify it down here. Actually, I don't need to justify down there. I just need to build up my forces so that I can take out Serbia and that. Because, yeah, overall, goal to take out Serbia would be... Uh, probably an elite core of mountaineers taking the south, because, effectively, that turns into pretty open ground for them. Uh, outside that... I don't know, maybe I'll use paratroopers for a change, too, because that would actually help me a lot, just freaking... Dump them down the back, make them split their fronts, uh, try to keep them supplied with um, that sort of aircraft and that. Uh, Alright, now let's get the military occupation under control, because I think this does a lot for me. Subdued, we have no intention of letting Hempcast see in the future. Let all those things the Chancellor of the Australian Empire face the same fate they have now. Uh. Oh! Oh, this turns me into uh, paternal autocrats. Ah, huh, fancy that. Interesting. Sigmund's cool, White like Ruthania, yada yada yada. Okay, well, go Sigmund. Hey Germany, how are you looking currently? Yeah, they're doing a bit. Wow. Oh yeah, right, no, I've got this slot now. Uh, which I might start putting into, um, naval stuff, why not? Let's get a point at heavy tank, so I might as well build one of the Orlikans going on. I like that I get Orlikans, by the way. I don't know why, I find that as a just a funny point. Okay, you can probably change to a fortress since you are defending the own water. And you're already a submarine, so yeah, that all works. Alright, I wasn't paying attention to those pop-ups in any way, shape, or form, so they could have said something real important and it's whoop, right over my head. Alright, there's a lot of resistance going on. Is it growing? I think compliance is growing. And so long as the compliance grows, well, I think the resistance will start going down. Huh? Alright. The sick man may now die. Alright. Well. How long? I can probably start going down the mobilizations very shortly, too, which would be very, very nice to get going to. Alright, this should get me more than enough to actually uh, do this now, so I can just train up my soldiers to a more professional army. Yes, yes, looks it. Okay. So with you guys going on, I want you to keep your experience, just keep on keeping on. Ah, here we go, we got a full one of these going on right now, so let's do that, let's do that, boost these back up. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Uh, coup by someone with an incomprehensible name. Okay. Seems unfortunately case or weakness in democratic regime. Okay. Well, you guys do your thing. I believe in this. Um, enjoy your crazy ass wars. I actually think the Ottomans have a strangely good ability to win this one. Like, if they can crush some of the pockets they've currently got going on, that would be massively in their favour. 
Alright, so smart. Let's start getting that. Alright. Liking this. Do need to start probably getting my uh, land doctrines too at some point. I don't know, just going in one at a time. Alright, cool. And we have a hundred points and it's gonna be just in time for us to... Well, lose them all again. <laughs> That's fine. Actually, you know what? No. Let's boost that up with the hundred that we have, huh? And I'm willing to go into the negative for that. It'll be fine. Austro-Hungarian Empire. Happy days! Ah, uh, and this should help me get out of it a lot faster if we get faith in the Kaiser. We now paternal autocrats, so that'll boost that up a bit. They're cancelling an aggression pack, that's fine. Okay, Union State declared on Cuba. It's Cuba called Cubby, by the way, that looked very Cubby for a flag, huh? Jesus Christ, America, calm down, what have they done? They just... Okay. Oh. Oh, when they say some people didn't like it, I wasn't actually expecting them to declare war. Okay, well, that's a fuck up. I'm going to take a radical guess and say that freaking, um... Um, uh, okay. And they're fucking off. Brotherhood of Slavs is becoming things. So they're about to declare on me too. Let's focus on Chechnya first. Oh, is everyone split off from me? Oh, okay, that's not good. Didn't I say at the beginning of this, so long as not everyone declares on me, I'm fine. We should crush these traitors. No, 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 you get your ass over here. Alright, let's start getting into some of these. Alright. Okay, well this is not... I got... What do you mean the fall of Vienna? Vienna hasn't fallen? It's still well and truly within my hands. Alright, let's build that up. Because Illyria is not in yet, but they're in the faction. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come in soon, and if that happens, I need to reduce the line. Alright, cool. We're at a curse... If... I was right hungry, was not a cur... Oh, was that cursed? It was just a complete and utter failure. There's a difference. Alright, let's do that one, so we can win over there. Alright, there we go. That should win me these ones. As I said, so long as we don't have... Okay, uh... Reduce the line. The inbred Hasbergs be like... Alright. Well, I'm not 100% certain on how to win this one off the bat, I'll be honest. Because I don't really have the largest of armies here. Hold on, let's uh, remove all your orders. Let's put you around like this. Take you down through Graz, Kerfritz. There we go. That's the line I want to hold. So everyone go onto that. That includes you, that includes you. Okay. And you guys, freaking extra effort just to hold that. Huh? 
Okay, so goal will be off the bat to freaking hold the lines here. Yeah, I already know to fall back to Austria. I was really hoping I'd be able to crack one early. But uh, that clearly has not happened here. I don't know if I cancelled their lead lease, that's fine. Hey. Okay. Yeah, really quickly destroy that guy, because fuck him. Alright, please spread out. Start freaking making sure that we can get our guys to their respective lines. Go, 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 go. Alright. Now, we can start probably planning an offensive from here. Uh, guns. I have guns. Sweet eyes. How many more infantry divisions can I get? Okay. Eight more. That's fucking beautiful. Let's train these up. Huh? Uh, are we, like, perfectly set where we are now? No, I want them to take a couple more. That's fine. Hey, will all of you please return to port? Thank you. Alright, let's make sure that's out of going. Uh, Cass? Sure, I'll research it. Oh yeah, that reminds me too. Uh, can't really start doing you now, but you above the Orkins, obviously. Alright. Spectacular. I did lose a division through all that, though. Alright, there's a couple of spots to change. Nothing crazy. Alright, uh, all Austrian scheme? Yeah, sure. I like that. Alright, because I can see a few good, decent places to actually start off on here. Just need to make sure that my guys are alright. Yes, they're just going to attack me. Because, yeah, I'm actually fairly confident in my ability to hold this currently. But that is not my overall what I want to do. Huh? Engineering companies, sweet as. Uh, might as well get maintenance companies while all this is going on. Collapse the Union. No, I just want you guys. Alright. Wait. Have I losing this one here? Let's just pull you down here, and I make 100% certain you can get to this guy. Oh wait, no, you're in a spot, I need you to hold. Oh wow, Illyria is actually pushing hard. I thought I was going to be able to hold that. Okay, that's a no. That's a problem. Can I deploy these? I can deploy these. Okay. Pass the sonar. Okay. Um, well, let's see if we can rush more of this now. Okay. Well, like, god damn, I'll hold it out well, but just... It's not enough currently. I wasn't expecting to be at war with a whole lot, I will be honest. The form Manila secures the Emperor Japan's great threats. Okay. I don't know what that means for anything.
Alright, let's see if we can actually spread out this line, because I actually want... But I'm actually willing to bet that I could probably crush freaking um... Actually, how is the old autosave? We're in the beginning of this month, which I don't think is far enough back. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck. Is there old auto? No. Because I think I know... Because that only happened when I did that one, so I actually have plenty of time to build up my defences if I wait on and do a different thing. So yeah. Nope. Okay. So. Let's load. Freaking one nearly a year ago. Actually, over a year ago. Ugh. Ah. You know, the comment of reshaping history is actually pretty good, considering I am. Fight all peoples to the dual monarchy. Alright. I'll probably keep the mountaineers just here this time, though. Alright, so we've got a change uh, we've got a change of plans this time round, which is all good. But long story short, I won't go down the military occupation path because or won't go down the military occupation path off the bat. I'll build up more, I'll actually get myself a decent army first, and then I shall attack. Or let them attack me, as the words shall go. Uh overall goal will be basically to quickly wipe out uh, Bohemia. That's about it. Alright, you keep popping up the stuff there. Uh, yeah, sure. It shall happen. I make all these things that I am not going to do a single thing about them. So yeah, now I just need to wait. Romania fires uh, it's bullshit, and then I murder Hungary. Yay! What? I didn't see that one last time. Oh. Oh wow, this is actually a fruit. Okay. I don't even know who that is. Agreed, they are to move their forces, and if they don't move their forces, I'm just gonna re If they do move their forces, I should say, I'll... Alright, cool. All that being a thing, let's mend this stuff. We deal with this now, and then we can attack, I'm fairly certain. Onto aggressive and attack. Absolutely, Germany. Alaska, no one cares. Like, I can't quite state the level of which I do not give a fuck about Alaska leaving the American Union. <laughs> Save four. I really want to rush to take down Budapest. Instructions, yay, get all that, keep going down the machine tools. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Alright. Uh, I was going to be jumping off stream, I was going to be doing this totally arm thing tonight. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> ah, the face with Serbia is still holding better than Hungary. Yeah. Yeah. Mind you, that being said, uh, most of the Carpathian Basin, uh, Basin is just plain, sir. Huh? Can't really blame them too much for not being able to hold in such bad areas.
Alright. This actually seems to be going better than last time, to be honest. Oh my god. I do always forget how much I hate the fucking sheer level of pop-ups in this game. <laughs> Alright. Now let's fix that. Tune the economy. Go, got you, got you. Uh, yeah, I start to need, not need this other jazz, huh? Uh, what are you order? Ah, red rooster stuff? Sure, why not? Can we candidate? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not bothered to deal with this, like, at all. I don't know, I just don't really see a need for me to bother about it. Troubling indeed. Actually, I could just go here and there. Boom, completely cut off. Uh, OG Mega Box. Ah, let's just go for like nuggets or some shit, eh? Okay, sides. Things, cheesy pops, loaded chips. God. I have not really. You can tell it's a difficult war when I'm not paying attention to it. There we go. Let's take all that. God oh. oh, damn it. You fucks make this more difficult than it needs to be each and every time. God, I can get most of it too, that's the issue. Can I get all of this in this one? And done and dusted. I'm just gonna pull these guys back here. I don't know, maybe having troops on their border is making these guys not freaking um wanna do it. That was deep, rest the seas. Okay. I don't know when they're going to be actually launching an attack on me. I kind of hope that they, like, boost themselves up as best they can first. I don't know, I think it'd be very keen. I'm kind of keen to see how that would go. Hey, you got a scappy. Right, you know what? Let's just start producing heavy tank line. Why not? Uh, I did actually fail this, um, dumb, uh, dumbly enough just before. So, you know, take that as you will. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Don't want any sauce. Don't need garlic bread. What? What am I missing? What? Why can't I add this to cart? Oh, because I require to tell them what sauce I want, but I don't want sauce. And crisp. Crispy strips and fucking. Let's get some gravy too. On a view cart, I need to remove a thing. Sorry, I'm actually ordering food at the same time here. And I need to remove a thing. Remove item. Thank you. Now I want to exit out, I want to just spoil one of those. Huh? God damn, all these pop ups. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let's go, regular one. Thank you. Cart. Yep, sure, all good. Next. Give you like four bucks. Why not? Place delivery. Alright, so, now. What have we got going on? Transylvanian state in that? No. They ours, bitches. 
But I will actually return this bit of land to um, Galicia because it makes them like me more. Oh, right, cool. Food ordered. Uh, the deal with Fume is it is a pirate state led by Miklas Horthy. Don't ask. I don't know really how this is a thing for the game. I think it's just one of those little fun things that was added in the Kaiser Redux mod. Huh? Which is one of the things I'm playing with. Huh? So, you know, I uh, definitely want to uh, get in here and deal with them. I know they can declare on me, but they haven't yet, so I don't know. I'm basically waiting on them to declare their shit and uh, allow me to murder them. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, for now too, something that I should deal with really quickly. Uh, did try Romania in the new update. I haven't tried Romania in a little bit. Uh, I should though. I do like Romania. Okay, please close that. Oh, because I'm, sl I'm clicking the wrong one. Yeah, Alright, there we go. Got all that. Because, yeah. I mean, it looks interesting. And Romania's at a decent point. There's a lot of stuff to be played in it. Wait, what do you mean? I'm missing light tanks. What group do I have that requires light tanks? No light tanks in that. Wait, is it in the cavalry division? It is in the cavalry division. Whoops. There we go. Let's uh, change that around. Because, yeah, I don't really want to construct light tanks and shit. Okay, what we need... Okay. Now, planned as said previously, I am not going to click that milita uh, military occupation until I am certain that I can actually hold my own uh, against my puppets. <laughs> Which will be a little bit, but uh, I have plans. Uh, big plans. Big, heavy plans. Alright. Uh, but for the moment, I actually just need to boost up my... Freaking infantry equipment stuff. I am missing so much at the moment. So, Kazakh Rinard's new states in Transylvania. Yeah, it adds a bunch of new, a bunch of new things. It actually, gives Hungary a fo Hungary a focus tree. It gives um, Illyria a focus tree. It makes Alaska a thing. Uh, let's see, what else does it add? Um, adds a couple of different paths for some of the commie nations. Sure, I'm missing a couple of what things it's doing. Oh, it adds uh, New England, and you can get... Does it have it? No, damn. Uh, but you can actually get uh, HP Lovecraft as leader of New England. So, it's a very interesting uh, mod. It adds a lot of fun shit, is how I'd put it. Might not be the best <laughs> stuff, but it adds it. And I personally find it very entertaining. Uh, Alright, well... Now, I'm just going to go ahead on the radar. Alright, so what have we got currently in those? A lot of those building up. Okay. Well, for the moment, yeah, industry is obviously one of the biggest things I need to be building through at the moment. Habsburg. Collapse of the city. Oh, CSA's going again. Hey! Okay, what is with the... USA proper. I feel like they're doing a lot better than usual. Like, was there a change while I wasn't paying attention? Did the CSA finally not be so completely overpowered as shit? Uh, is it different? With Kaiserite Redux and the new Romanian focus tree, you can make true great Romania. Oh! God, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll do that one of the first ones. I actually love playing in this whole Balkans region, so it's actually why I decided to play Austria this time around. Ah, uh, but yeah, no, that sounds fun as shit. So, yeah, why not? Because, yeah, I haven't really looked at it. And obviously speaking, um, going down, like, a Michael's or a Carlos restoration would both be cool. So, yeah. Uh, what is their economy? Actually, here's the thing that always makes me... Uh, look at things. Freaking, what's their naval, navy stuff like? The Norm Delta? Wow. Wow, that's... great. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Defenders of the Danube? Expanded that? Wow. 
our guy. <laughs> the king. All right. Uh, Engineering Romania. It's got plenty of shit building up in it. I like it. Uh, let's also get these really quick. Ah, here we go. Declare war immediately. There you go. I was waiting for that. Let's get these guys down there as fast as we can. Uh, you know what? Call to arms. Right. You're fine there. Alright, cool. I'm going to decline that because I'm not going to need that. Uh, and they're gone. Uh, peace? Peace, deal. Uh, okay. Damn it. I wanted to take that this time, huh? Cause I wanted all those dockyards and shit. Oh, I'll, I'll get them later when freaking, um... When I go to war against Deliria and all that jazz. You know what? Uh, let us... Cause I... Per yeah, you know what? I'm gonna focus this army in particular on Illyria. Because this guy's got the skilled staffer in that, so this will actually be pulling up. Rainy is super fun. Yeah, I have look. I'll definitely play it at some point. It does sound like it'll be pretty good by what you're stating. Alright. Uh, so what... what do I need? You know what? Let's uh, just build this army up to its maximum for now. So, 16, another 14 on you. Alright. So that'll build up. Those will come... Uh, those will freaking all get pasted in there. Uh, was that freaking the AUS? And that freaking... Yeah. Alright, so those two are freaking now at peace in order to kill them. I've never been more interested in the war going on over there. Sorry, usually speaking, it's just the fucking CSA that wins each and every time. And I just... Fuck it. I can't be bugged. But the USA proper is winning in a timely manner. I like this. Ah, uh, historically, Romanian lands came on land, the Romanian border, and the rivers east of Budapest. Now, I would imagine Budapest would not be included. I mean, they never held it. So it'd be all of Transylvania. It'd be all of Transylvania. Freaking. I'd imagine so uh, some parts of Gle uh, Galicia are up here? Oh, yeah. Actually, they've got the cores on them anyway. Yeah, cool. So I was right. So a couple of points there, and of course, spreading south. Huh? Alright, I like it. This is cool. That's cool. Alright, so because this is an ally, they're not really spreading out right along here. Yep. Alright. Anyway. So, got nothing else got, uh, got for the moment. This is going to take me a while to really, um, uh, gain control of, because I will say this. So, with the army, field of training, that is 300, nearly 400,000. Okay, well, actually, it is. I see it right there. 437,000. Whoops. That was why I bothered to add those up. <laughs> anyway. So, with that, it's like, a crushing Illyria would be one of my key points, I'd say, yeah? Because if I can get them quickly, that's this longer front open. So I just need a large enough army at that point to basically hold along the Danube, I'd say, yeah? Which, how many tiles is that? That is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, huh? Alright, so if we go to 12 and we build up... What do you say, freaking another uh, up here, 24? Can I get like 24 10 wits or something, huh? That'd be... 
Actually, if I do 12 and just get a single heavy armor division on each one, but I don't think uh, I'm going to be doing it for that longer. Near the city of Seskin. Right, so yeah, just up over here. So yeah, all of Transylvania would become part of it. So that's cool. Alright, and just in case we're right, yeah, is actually going to try something here. I don't know, Transylvania or War. Yeah, because they have this happen on the occasion, but a lot of times they cancel the thing. Which, you know, that's all good. Alright, well how long until our guns are actually all sorted here anyway? couple of years, so I definitely need more mill factories going at the moment. I'll be very keen to get more mill factories going. I'll probably uh, put most of my mill factories in Styria, I'd say. I could probably defend Styria. That'd be my, be my best bet, I'd say. Uh, which, speaking of, I might actually just queue that up right now. There we go. And I'm willing to bet any amount of money that they got to cancel their, uh, their plans here. Or this will finish and they'll just not fire it because I have a decent army on their border. Alright. Oh, by the way, we've got a lot, a lot of smooth factors going on. Yes, and there's our extra point there. Uh, domestic plans... let's see. What do we need to unlock right now is actually one of the big things that I want to look through. Could get Protector of the Balkans, Intervention of Romania. See, I don't want to do any of that until I've uh, dealt with the military occupation stuff. Uh, if I don't ask much, can you show me the state of Transylvania? Yes, sir. Freaking, um, so Transylvania is probably like split up to multiple states here, is the thing. Eh? So, you know, it's, um, got a lot. But everywhere with these claims is Transylvania, obviously. So it actually goes down a fair while till about this region here. So, yeah. It's basically up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. Uh, was I one off on that? I think I was one off on that, but yeah. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and everywhere east of them is all Transylvania. So yeah, it's a pretty decent amount. Huh? Oh. Could probably start doing them too. Uh, yeah, let's uh, go down and get a bus. Alright. Oh, actually, your uh, previous one was wiped out, but I will rename that one for you. Crusty Crew, you did have that, and of course that only reset due to a, um, due to a, um, reload, so, you know, that's fair, and the, yeah, Begunnen Knuckles, uh, Clan, that's right. Fucking hell. I think I was fat fingering everything, but yeah. I said, I don't know why you don't name some different things on the occasion, though. I don't know. I mean, good on you, it's your prerogative on them. I don't really mind. Hey, Hawaii's joined the Reich's Pact. That's definitely going to be a major player in the wars to come. In fairness, if the AI could deal with the naval war at all, it probably actually would be a very important thing, but... It, it's just not. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I do indeed. Huh? I intend to control pretty much everything of the Balkans. Uh, integrate all of Chetsia, Glacia, Illyria, all that jazz. And then, to be quite honest, my end goal here um, is I wish to pick a fight with the Germans and avenge the Brothers' War. I don't know. That's just my own goal. I don't know if I'll actually get around to that one. I might do the Brothers War in a separate thing. But that's just uh, due to... I do have a game of armor I want to play tonight. 
which I will be streaming too if people are interested. Haha. <laughs> Advertisements. Okay, PSA is now just like, fuck this shit. So yeah, the USA is just gonna win properly. <laughs> Righto. Go USA. I believe in you. Alright. Decimetric radar is done. Alright. War of the Desert is good. Let's look at uh, will you make Romanian uh, Serbia puppets or Attic? See, that's what I've been questioning myself. Huh? I kind of want to take the book, uh, the uh, Bucharest oil fields, uh, just for myself. Uh, but at which point, I mean, if I want to take those directly, I mean, I don't really see the reason of leaving the rest of it independent. Huh? So overall. I think I'm going to annex all that directly. Biggest question will be what I want to do with Greece. Because Greece could be a big power in this region, but at the same time, I, I don't really... If I'm already going down a major annexing route, I feel like I might as well just annex them too. Yeah. Well, I'll see how it goes. Annexing would be nice. <laughs> ah, on a side note too, the uh, Romanians back down on their uh, goals here. Because yeah, obviously I don't want to go down conquering them just yet either, just because, well... Yeah, that seems like that'd be a rough idea. Trestobia, let's dump all of you onto them. Do that. Uh, do I want to go ahead on them? I think the biggest thing I'll need to be doing is just start researching these. Just do one, oh, one by one. Dedicate a slot to getting our military tech up, because the better uh, we have those, the stronger our armies are generally. Ah, here we go. And we're getting more of these. Uh, I'm going to do some more rifles, because, yeah. <laughs> Lacking rifles always sucks. I hate that you, you guys don't just like move around normally on these borders. Like it's, it's weird. It's very weird. Now let's get more of that going on. Increase separatist activity. Let's keep an eye on this. I don't actually know what that was, because yeah, we were at war by this point, uh, last time. Alright. Uh, I was just dumping people back there anyway, it's fine. Well, have plenty of people deployed by the time we go to war. After World War One, Austria wanted to annex Romania, but Germany was like, no, we want the oil. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that was the stuff for it. It's why there's such an oil contention. Like, if you play the German Empire in this one, they basically... There's multiple times you need to basically pay off Romania just to keep them, you know, being nice to you. Oh, Carol II. Huh. right -o. Okay, mate, you do you. Anyway, speaking of too, let's get our early mobilization up so we have even more factories going on. There we go. Let's keep upping the amount of civilian factories in those two. Because, yeah, obviously I want to rush down civilian factories as fast as I can in order to make sure, well, you know, I'm not just left in the dirt when it comes to production. Alright, uh, let's keep going. Wait, hold on. Did I just... Oh, alright, never mind. I feel like I'm just crazy. Hey. 
I didn't order a meal, I just ordered like the few things in the gravy. I'll stab you, and I'll stab you for him. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> you just book my bottom of it. Ah, oh, there should be a thing gravy too. Fuck it. That's annoying. Alright, well, I've got food here now too. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly run off and grab myself a beer. Uh, da -da -da, I believe I've got my headers here. Honestly, at this point, that one should just say I am grabbing alcohol. <laughs> and I don't usually make cuppers on stream. Alright, back in two seconds. Alliance with Bulgaria. Teach us for an alliance between our two nations. Ah! Uh, can I kick? I don't think I can kick them out later. Hold on. Let me just uh, save this really quick. I just want to make sure that I can actually um, boot them from my group if I want to. Nation Army. We are Austria in the Kaiserreich mod. So you know, pretty damn good. Uh, so let's hit shore right now. Is that immediately alive with them? Yep. I, mean, I said sure, but there's no alliance. Am I for something to fire still? Alright, that's weird. Yeah, well, I'm just... I am going to tell them no, to be honest. I don't want that biting me in the arse. Anyway. I'm going to start eating some of this, so if I go quiet, you know why. Okay, the Ottomans lost fucking quick this time. Right up. Oh, man. I don't know why chicken and beer go real well together. Makes me a very, very happy man. Now, mind you, at the same time, I'm thinking I need to do some more fucking exercise. <laughs> Let's see, what is actually down here? Just getting a lot more... Yeah, those are good ones. Okay, well, you guys do your thing. <laughs> Think of things right here. Holy hell, this is like very distinctly... Just not filled with a bunch of shit that's not worth it. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, there's no point in me really going down most of the X stuff right now just due to the time difference, so I guess I'll get some rum processing and all that jazz. Removes that, doesn't it? Sorry, really quick. Um, 
feel like one of these removes the broken things. What line am I going down? Uh, the... I assume you mean the uh, Doctrine. I am going down the Mobile Warfare Doctrine. Which is funny, considering I've got mostly Defensive Generals and all that. So Grand Battle Plan should be the better one to do. But, I have a plan. That plan relies very exceptionally on the heavy tanks and 21th infantry, so... So, you know, definitely have to see how that goes, because I'm not expecting, um... an overabundance of... awesome success or anything, but... it should be... different than usual. I don't know, because, yeah, like... These guys, I haven't selected their traits. This guy has the Offensive Doctrine. General Staff or an Expert Delegator. But freaking, like, all my, gen all my generals that have, like, you know, Ambusher. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, it'll be really, um... I don't know, I'm very keen to see how it's going to roll together. Oh, in the Focus Tree, right, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just doing all this sort of, like, economic stuff over here. Uh, big deal is I'm sticking away from the military occupation until I have a large enough army in order to deal with all my puppets simultaneously. Uh, expanding the Austrian military is probably where I'm going to go once I'm done with uh, probably this line. Which is just, you know, gives me some extra resources, gives me some military factories, nothing major. Um, and then I will probably throw down over here. Make sure I actually get my bonus to um, Mobile Warfare Doctrines. Uh, potentially even try to rush straight down here in order to get um, the new KUK army. And from there, that will probably be the bit where I um, will have more than enough at that point to launch into a military assault. Huh? Not to mention, it does give time for my uh, respective... Uh, peeps here to build up their own nations. Which is, you know, not great, but it's more shit for me to take when I take over. Alright, the branch at the bottom right, sorry. I was reading your thing, just to have a pop of my cup to eat more. Ah. So this is Dolphus Austria. This is the uh, national populace, so the fascist sort. Uh, so these guys do get rid of divided society and all that, suppressing the communists and all that, but it looks like it's a lot of um, ultra-nationalistic thing. It cuts you out of several of the other trees, from what I can tell. Uh, let me go back into it. Because, yeah, obviously you've got, um... Oh, wait, true dichotomy was a temporary thing? Oh, that sucks. Anyway, uh, but yeah, you can get rid of uh, Black Monday and all that, and a number of the others, which you can get rid of in other trees. So I think this tree is overall a replacement to all three of these. Uh, and freaking these two here. Not a hundred percent certain on how to get this, but I don't really care at the same time. National populace is not usually the thing I go for. I might play it on the occasion, but not over the top what I'm after. Ah, right. we're going to partial mobilization. Oh yeah. Oh, which is actually quite nice. We've got freaking two full rows going now. All right. And wait, are they enough to get me another lot? Five? Yes, they are. Oh, they can get me another whole row and then a little more. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh man, okay, they got big guns and all that jazz. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, 192. I will do it at 192 days. And then I'll probably be back to holding my way on that. <laughs> Effective type of manpower due to influence of the fatherland front. 
Interesting. I don't know if I need to get some more, um, stability. I could get legislate freedoms for a while. Ah, uh, the only country intended to be national populous is Romania, in my opinion. I don't know, I can see it for a few for a few ones, huh? But yeah, uh because that I actually always find it a little strange that freaking Mussolini's um Italian national Oh, it actually is Mussolini this time too. Uh but actually that Mussolini's isn't um the national populace round. Because, you know, Mussolini, father of fascism. Um, they want to roll most of the national populist stuff into that, and fascist stuff into national populist, so... I don't know, I just feel like he should be able to come out here as making his own way with that. I don't know. Take that as you will. I don't make the damn thing. is what it is. I'll actually be going uh, recon for the um, cars soon, but I don't actually have enough at the moment. So for now, I'm just going. Um... Oh. Uh, recon, recon horses and that because yeah, I. How many light cars do I have at the moment? None. Exactly, sweet fuck all. <laughs> I'll be building up, but it'll take a bit. Anyway, uh, we do now have negative support equipment, and that will take me a year to recover from. Okay. Uh, like the focus tree of Romania's guide, you to be national populist. Yeah, I can believe it. Actually, Turkey could actually have a good argument for going national populist. I mean, they're coming out of being a monarchy, they were the sick man, they gotta come on down. It'd be actually quite cool to fucking, um... Bro, you just posted fascist rhetoric? You're going to lose war? What? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Uh, don't really need to be doing the carrier fighters or anything just yet. Either, not really. Alright. You know, I really wish I could uh, integrate these guys' fleet before going to war. Because I've got a decent fleet from memory. Or they're building a decent fleet. Something like that. Alright, we got shit going on. No, stay drunk. I'll read it. Mm. Alright. For several decades, the Romanian population of Eastern Hungary has been unhappy with our rule, as principalities of Wallachia and Moldovia united and secured their uh, place as an independent state in the Balkans. Many Transylvanians believe their region is destined to be united with their brethren across the Carpathians. Huh? Regardless of our just ancient historical claims over the region, during the Welkwing, Romania even attempted to take Transylvania by force. Uh, they avenged our weakness as we fought off the endless Russian hordes. Uh, their defeat in the war has done little to weaken Romanian nationalism in the region. Despite the restrictions of the Treaty of Bucharest, the hostile regime of Bucharest has recently resumed propaganda efforts against us, decrypting our rule as tyrannical and oppressive. Recent unrest in cities of Arad, Kosovo, Nugsman have led to increased passive resistance against authorities. So far, the investigation has only found only ties with activists of the Romanian National Party, a legal party representing Romanian interests in Hungary. Yada yada yada, Transylvania. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have a Transylvanian revolt soon, but that's okay. As far as I'm concerned, uh, more little revolts like this should just allow me to um, take, uh, get more army experience effectively. Well, I mean, if it ever actually fires, but I don't know if it will. <laughs> 
I said, it's been a very long time since I played Austria in this mod, so... And that was just Kaiser, like, now we've got the Kaiser Redux too, so... There's a lot of things I don't know about how it will go. But I'm very interested to see how it will go. Alright, for now... We have a decent amount of shit going on right now, that's all cool, that's all good. Uh, let's go really check our puppets here too. Wow, 30 factories there, right over. 19, they've got another 42. Growth and arms smugglers, yeah, crack down on the criminals. So I will definitely see this rise up shortly. Yeah, I am distinctly outmatched when it actually comes to our respective um, puppets. Kind of interesting when you actually look at it. But yeah, I should be able to um, steam ahead though, since I do believe, if I look at it, 50 civilians, yeah, against 20, 11, or 15. Huh? So yeah, even with their stuff, I should be able to start surging ahead on the uh, factory front. I just need to concentrate it all up here where I can defend. Huh? And a real shock over there that freaking I'll start getting resistance to occupations. I should research the MP, actually. Uh, once I'm done with maintenance companies, I'll research MPs, I'll put them into my, uh, my cavalry divisions and hold them down like that. Because, yeah, that should work out relatively well for me. Oh, it's called quite hard some... Okay, Arsenal Democracy. We're good. We Gucci! Oh, actually reminds me too. <sighs> Need to plug in my phone for charging. Sorry, my laugh took it off and my phone is particularly prone to just randomly dying on me most of the time. Uh, do you get calls on your puppets after destroying their asses? P probably not. Uh, if I don't get it though, uh, I do have a mod on, which is the state coring button, I believe its name is. Or coring state button. It's like that, so long so short. Uh, take Hungary for the moment. I don't have cores on them. So if I click on Budapest here, this pops up over here, which allows me to call the state for political power. Uh, only thing about this, as you'll see, it uh, bases what political power it costs based on the population of the state. You also uncore territories too, which is kind of nice. So. so it's relatively expensive to core a, sta a nation, but you know, you can do it eventually. Alright, let's have a quick look see. Let's go to tank factories. Uh, production costs up, and that only affects medium tanks and light tanks, that's kind of crap. Heavy tanks, um, heart attack and piercing, I do like that, or light tanks. So I can get some good stuff there. Uh, in terms of aircraft, agility, oh man, that Phoenix is fucking amazing, huh? Okay, so if I go for the aircraft, I need to go get Phoenix. Uh, over here, Steyr. I will obviously want to be getting Steyr. Steyr make, honestly, some of my favourite guns in existence. Though the mechanised manufacturer down here is also looking pretty good. Doesn't the state transfer tool... Yeah, the state transfer tool lets me call land, but, um... I don't really... Like, it doesn't cost me anything. If I hover over this, it just calls it outright, too. And I feel like, gameplay-wise, I should probably be paying a little- I should probably be paying something to try to get stuff, you know, invested in me. School of Maneuver is probably one of my favourites. Uh, don't know whether I'll do that there. Defense, Decisive Attack, Decisive Battle, I should say, Guns and Butter. Armored Spearhead is another amazing one. Attack, Speed, Armor, Get Speed and Breakthrough. Yeah, once I actually start building the tank divisions, that will be very worth it, but until then, it's not. Uh, fuck, for now, I think I should just go style. Build that, uh, build that up, it gets me, my guys going. And then I can start coring land too, which, uh, you know, it's all good. Start off with, like, Budapest here. It's all a lot of shit. I do think there's, um, focuses which allow me to core it, but I could be entirely wrong. I kind of always forget. But it's not down there. It doesn't say it anywhere here that shit becomes cores, but... I don't know. 
All right, uh, real quick too, what am I missing? We got 68 days on that, 200 days on them. Okay, so let's get some extra... All right. I actually really need to start getting air support, but I uh, want to get my uh, production lines probably looking like that a bit first. Let's not get the improved fire control systems, I'll probably use them for a while. Uh, also, minimus up again, food. Ah, uh, yeah. Clarity on why I'm going down this way first. Um, I am actively working on my mobile warfare doctrine and all that. Meanwhile, uh, I have not been actively working on... What the fuck? Okay, go Nicaragua. Uh, I haven't been actively working on my infantry weapons or that, so I would like to catch up and use that to try to get ahead of time. Under the military occupation, do you get a goal to annex Romania land or puppet? Uh, yeah, so... If I go over here... I can basically approach all of them to join the empires and that, which... See, that's where this one comes in first, Intervention of Romania. Which is not something I can actually do, I didn't realise that. It used to be that one just allowed you to murder them. Uh, well down here we can go crush Serbia and claim the Romanian lands, so that will allow us to um, fight both of them. You guys are being bastards, right up. Blowing up trains and being dicks to things. Anyway, um, so yeah, and of course the last one there being, let's pick a fight with Germany. So those two are what's going to allow me to pick a fight with these guys without justifying. Yes, yes. I know, just hurry up and buy your fucking a little civil war so I can murder them. Ah, I didn't even realize these guys were currently at war. Um... I don't really give them much to warrant their time. Um, I do currently have a decent amount of... If I do that, my organization is still above it, so yeah, no, let's, let's do that. I'll bring down my artillery cost... Uh, I'll bring down my artilleries a bit, but that's okay. I'll have a shitload of extra guns, and with a shitload of extra guns, I feel like I can also get a, mount of, a couple more of these. Huh? Upper Silesia should be freaking. Uh, yeah. Around these. So yeah, Upper Silesia, Lower Silesia. The mind you, I would want to take both. <laughs> I mean, shit me, I feel like if I'm going to go up that way, I'm going to really pick a fight into the Germans. I'm not going to take all of Germany. I just want to prove superiority of the little brother. Ah, oh, sweet. As soon as this one's done, we'll start focusing on our mill factory, so that's good. So let's actually get these set out. That said, I actually think I'm going to spend about three factories here on transport planes. Alright, um, and in here too, we definitely want to start getting you, 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 and you. Line of fields, that should be pretty nice there. Alright, got my extra construction, now I can do the concentrated industry up to. Nice. 335, press lead to 208, so I'll jump off this one for a minute and we'll get the extra rubber real quick. Oh yeah, Man on the British Countryside, I like this song. It's a good one. Hmm.
Oh yeah, that reminds me, it is 39, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, okay, cool, we're going down to reforms, let's get that mobile warfare. Uh, how long till I get that one? That is 41. Alright, let's get some soda, soda will be very important. Actually, shouldn't these be complete? Oh, they did complete. Oh, I, that's right, I told them all to just jump straight into this freaking um, fleet. I remember. But yeah, I mean, Austria's got an alright fleet to begin with, I will say that. It's not amazing, but... Eh, it's heavy enough, it can hold its own against some of the smaller fleets around, so I appreciate that. It's definitely enough for me to start <coughs> a navy. Uh, let's see. Well, I've got 120 now. I think I'm going to start quarry ship, so... I think I'll work my way... I think I'll just claim Budapest, really, actually. <laughs> there you go. Good start. Great start. 100%. Woohoo. Uh, and yeah, i got little ones here, too. And of course, up here, that will cost me 75. So yeah, slowly. We will gain our cause. Ah, what would be the best plan for now, though? Because, yeah, we're almost done with, um... We're almost done with our infantry coming out. So that's a full thir uh, 30 group. So that should be pretty well off there. So at which point, I definitely need another army group. The question is, how much manpower do I really have for it? And can I upgrade this to extensive? I need 50% war support in order to actually make this go. You know what the Austrian coat of arms looks like? Yes I do, but it's a fucking mess, sir. Hmm. See, so yeah, my only thought right now is probably save, uh, save up the political power and hopefully let the world tension raise a bit, uh, so we can pump out the war propaganda. Because I think extensive conscription, along with continued coring, is going to be how I need to, uh, get enough manpower to really do the strategy I'm after. Oh, unless I'm able to start pumping out the heavy armor divisions. Minus infantry all the way down, thank you, thank you. Your and oh, that's all I can do for now. Yay! All right, I need to start um training these guys up. Imagine that plus the Serbian one, the Romanian one, and maybe the Bulgarian one. Yeah, even worse if I had the fucking Greek one onto it too. Well, oh. actually, you know what? Let me um alt tab for a second here. What the hell have I got going on here? Uh, da -da -da -da. come on, there we go. Uh, no, let me let me open this, please and thank you. Okay, let's go. Austrian coat of arms, the coats of armor. There we go. Alright, so let uh let me just really quickly come over here. Go down to da, 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 it's not in my name thing there. Do I just have display? Where's my display? Yeah, there we go. I've accidentally put this in the wrong place. But yeah, for those who don't know, this one. That is our Austrian coat of arms. You can see how fucking messy it already is as a start. All the little su uh, sub parts to it is just, it is so insane, huh? You gotta love it, you really do, but holy hell. Alright, let's go back to the thingo. Oh hey, I didn't realise actually how much manpower I gained just from, um, from Budapest there. Uh, d d d let's freaking try to pump out as many as we- Okay. Do they need the Serbia treatment? <laughs> ah, I appreciate this. Alright. 
16 is enough building up for now. A lot of extra. A lot of homes. Easy. Uh, really quick too. 200 days. 800 days. I really need to focus on the artillery as it turns out. And 200 days. Okay, so I need both... Okay, I need at least five on you. And I'm building up that now anyway, so this should go well. Oh, okay, well, they're doing their jazz over there. Ukraine joined the Moscow Accord. That's interesting, not what I was expecting. Hmm. We need more shields to add to it. <laughs> well, they will be after this. Oh, the Germans are picking a fight with the Moscow Accord. Alright. What's this? Well, that'll be interesting. I don't know... I don't know how long until the uh, Communards will try to pick a fight here. But honestly, Germany could end up in a very, very good position if they manage to take down Russia early. Uh, why would I be doing... Oh! Negative 30... Uh, negative 5%. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have those guns, but I don't really care. <laughs> Run processing. Alright, that's nice and easy. Let's go back over here. Uh, 200 days. 168. Beautiful. The Confederate flags is a communist song? I don't know. Could be. Oh, hey. I saw that those two went back to war, but I wasn't expecting them to be basically doing nothing here. Oh, we've got Quentin Roosevelt and Hiram Johnson. Alright. Now, 1939, all these can be boosted up. Awesome. So let's start going down them. Light tanks or medium tank models, which are both ones I'm not doing. <laughs> That's okay. Might be a bit of a waste of one, but you never know, I might use some light tanks or stuff later. Once I am big. Know that one that played when Russia attacked Germany. Ah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because <laughs> in fairness, uh, those are the big ones that freaking are. They're the super events that pop up. That's this thing here. Um, so that just pops down and it's generically the same sound for, um, every nation. Including nations it's talking about, too. Yeah. I feel like this could go very badly very quickly for Russia. And I'm really hoping it does, because, uh, I, uh... I don't want to deal with the communists. Honestly, I I feel more confident attacking Germany and Russia combined than I do them. They just have so many bonuses. It's such a bastard to try to kill them. Ah, oh, there go my arm exports. That's all right. Okay, let's keep getting that up. Yeah, sure. And pump you up too. Why not? Alright. Suffer not the communists to live. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, this is why I'm hoping that they, that all these guys kill Russia quick. Because I want them to be strong to murder the commies. And if I need to kill the commies, I fucking loathe going through, uh, going through it because they have so many goddamn bonuses. Like legit, Jonesy, you should check this out. This is Kaiserreich, right? Mod uh, for Hearts of Iron. Fucking, it's... All just bonuses. This one right here, the Revolutionary Synthetic Oil, which has those level of fucking bullshit bonuses to it, they just get that for free, huh? Fucking hell, huh? Like, there's no focus to it. There's no, um, anything else. It's just an event that fires early on. Because, honestly, the Kaiserreich team, uh, think syndicalism, which is totally not communism, or totalists, or maximists, or whatever the fuck else they want to add on, uh, definitely, uh, is great and amazing, and this is the way to lead the future. <laughs> and 
And yeah, they just give shitloads of bonuses. It's so dumb. Yeah, it's basically team bias. It's dumb. The funny thing is, I actually think they constantly justify it because they claim that Germany wins the um, second milk cream too much. Uh, but here's the thing, the reason Germany's always winning the Second Welt Krieg is because, you know, where Germany needs to attack is effectively just straight into the plains of France. Where the Communists need to attack is into the fucking Ardennes, the forests, the mountains of fucking Alsace-Lorraine. All these areas. So it's got nothing to do with just random, bo random bonuses. It's, they win on terrain basis because the AI is too stupid to not just attack. So, <laughs> you deal with a lot of, they're constantly like, oh, we need to buff them, we need to buff them. Until, yeah, we get just fuckloads of OP shit, it's dumb. Yeah, see, that's what I always thought. Why not just get them to build up? I mean, shit, it would work, but they don't. Huh? Ah, speaking of, Second World Krieg. French just declared, so unfortunately... I don't know when... Oh! Hey! The Entente Freaky Guard declared at the same time, though. Alright, well, this could work. Well, honestly, I'm not going to be really getting involved in this off the bat. I'm going uh, to just sit off to the side. I'm going to finish my little Balkans plans, and uh, I'll see what I do after that. Transnobia, let's go take that. Ah, oh, Bulgaria joined the Reich's pack. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Eh, it's not the worst. I can deal with it. Ah. Yeah, improved light guns. Da -da -da -da. Don't need any of that, don't need any of that. Let's get the planes. But yeah, so we need the right. So right now, the Reich's Pack's in a big bit of problems. They need to win against both fronts. Huh? So yeah, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but um, well, we've got a good seat on the sideline. Don't mind you. <laughs> good start though. They've already pushed into the forest. <laughs> oh man, I. I will probably actually do that by the time I'm done. Uh, by the time I'm done with my plans here. So overall, Jonesy, what you missed is freaking. Um, if I do this focus here, military occupation, effectively, um, it makes all my vassals revolt. So at the moment, basically, what I'm doing is building up so that I can defend against all them while launching sufficient attacks. That's why I'm currently trying to get a second army go uh, going on right now, because if I get two army groups, I should be able to actually launch a proper attack. Uh, that reminds me too, with that going on. Did Denmark just peace out? <laughs> They're like, yeah, too much shit going on for my liking, fuck you all. Old World Blues? Yeah, it's a very, very well done mod. Um, I mean, shit, they actively got their fucking balance, uh, balance right, they put in a fuckload of effort to not just deal with, you know, their usual numbers that, um, that Hoi 4 is built off. So, I fucking love what they've done, but I can't really be fucked to play it too much. I like it, but Rugs back and the Untaught will cooperate. Oh! Beaten, Empire's agreed. Okay, so we don't know what agreements have been made, but okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I am really hoping for the Ont uh, the Entente Reich's pack though to be able to uh, launch proper assaults. I'm actually really hoping that um, France will be able to launch a few naval invasions down south, because that's how I always went against them. Alright. Uh, what's the main thing I'm waiting on? Uh, do I actually need to be getting Chromium at the moment? I think I do. Yeah, I think, um, for my heavy tank production, which as I said, a lot of shit is kind of built on here. I should probably get that sorted. 
Alright, and we're starting to build up fighters too. Go, go, happy days. Uh, by the way, let's go back down to our um, other divisions. Uh, how many more heavy tanks can we get in here? Economic ties with Illyria. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Then they accept economic ties with Illyria, which gives me a shitload of civilian factories that... Oh, of course I'm going to accept that. That would be dumb for me not to. Alright. And I can get to 30 here. That's good. I need to build up more, though, in order to get further. The Entente, I think, was Portugal here. Yeah. So they're not naval invading Portugal. They've already lost Portugal. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, right. Well, what else do we need going on? Oh, hey, we're uh, done with them. Are we waiting on... No, I can actually probably build my next generation destroyer now. Just quickly, let me grab it, the next generation's name. The, the Grinzer. Okay. Yeah, cancel that line. Let's go get our improved ship hulls. Uh, let's get a more expensive one. Duplicate you. Depth charges. Bam, bam. Sonar, fire control 2, can't get more than the anti-air 1, light battery, light battery, and the anti-submarine warfare, sweet. Grinzer class, which I don't have the naval points for, derp, of course, <laughs> fucking hell. Alright, you, uh, get you down to that and go do your naval exercises. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hello, there are faction members justify war goals? Wait, Illyria, what the fuck are you doing? What? What? The dancing monkeys. Sure. Alright, and... Dancing monkeys. Wow, I can't spell for shit. There we go. Alright, there you go, guys. Okay. Well, the Western Front seems relatively static. I'm actually surprised the Italian Federation here is doing so well in this regard, huh? What the hell are these guys meant to be? They're just a random infantry division. Uh, let's just cancel that. I don't really see that. Weird. Don't know where that one even came from. Well, for now, I don't need convoys, so let's just get that, get all the convoys going on. And yeah, when I've got 20 naval experience, that's when I can stop, get my new, uh, get my new destroyers going on, and those new destroyers will take their place in my main fleet. I will, pr I'll probably try to make some cheap ships later on to fill this out. Just very slowly, keep them in reserve, make sure that they're ready to hit anything along the coast. Single company twos. Alright, let's start boosting up along the uh, equipment mines at the moment as well. I'm very concerned about this. I don't want Illyria to do all that. Maybe I could. Actually. What's the ETA on this? 200 days. Okay, so I can finish my current focus with ease. Huh? Alright, I have a thought. That thought basically stands on, if I time all this right, I can go to war with Illyria right where they've got their goals against Serbia. Basically, pick the, uh, pick the fight then, quickly crush Illyria, while this other one just holds the line against Czechia. No, Illyria doesn't have more troops than me. 
Uh, did we come over here? 38. Well, apparently they've got more divisions than me, but not more troops. Huh? They have uh, four, uh, 416,000 in the field. I have currently in the field 469,000 and another 200,000 training. Huh? What are you... Rajan's big burly boys. <laughs> I like that one. Alright, Rajan's... Big uh, burly boys. I'm gonna put an exclamation mark on them. Because they're mine. But yeah. Ah, and here we go, too. Let's get that. So yeah, overall goal for these guys, though. Uh, I might. Yeah, I could give these guys just the infantry general. That works. Alright, Vienna, and let's get all of them going up to there. Alright, that's an army of 22 once we get it done. That's uh, 200 days on that, which is cool. That sorts it out roughly right time. Artillery is still down. Support equipment is... Okay, so I need more artillery in the meantime for that. So let's get a second row going on that. Because I need that done in time for this little ploy to work. Oh, well, uh, the Italian Federation just fucking died. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. So now I've got the commies on my borders. That's highly unfortunate. All right. Let's see, uh, I can go get the extensive conscription, which manpower is actually what's holding me back the most, so I'd like to get that off the bat, build that up. Huh? Oh, hey, we've actually almost got enough uh, naval experience now. <laughs> Russians even barely up, boys. <laughs> okay, I feel like I should name that as, like, my first tank division or something, huh? Yeah, actually, I can already name those ones coming along, huh? Ends even burlier, boys. There we go. So let's get them going too. And of course, yeah, I don't have too much uh, building up in that. Alrighty. Well. Well, this should be very interesting. Uh, Alright. You guys, you can stop your stuff for the moment. Alright, now let's actually um, make our Grenzer class, just like we said. Duplicate, uh, da -da -da, set sonar, fire control 2, don't have you. There, there. Oh. Alright, cool. Grenzer class, awesome, done. SMS Grenzer, and you guys start getting pumped into that. So let's reduce that. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna make it a group of 20 for now, because by the time they're done, I should have more than enough uh, time and experience to start getting some more going on. Alright, do I have another place I'd like to start building up majorly? I think freaking German, Japanese, fucking hell, really? Can Germany stop Japan? Germany's just at war with fucking everyone. Yeah, you know what? Those two. Because yeah, I really do definitely want to make sure I've got plenty of um. The civilian factory is being built up really quick, so that's five on them. Should be good. You still justifying? Yes, you are. Yeah, that's definitely not good. They are. Don't know when they've got to pick a fight with me, but I think they can pick a fight with me at some point. Ah. All right. We'll push this back. Fucking there. there. Alright, advanced machine tools, beautiful. Do I need to do anything here? Nope, let's just get the extra stuff there. 
Blasting defense. Let's build up our Blitzkrieg, sir. I would be very, very keen to actually um, build up a heavy tank group. Because if we get that, that's a lot of very careful maneuvering I can do to basically punch through anything I'm after. Uh, really quickly in here too. Do I actually have enough uh, light cap to build around? And I want to listen to 50 days in Peking. <laughs> yeah, you can. Wow, I didn't just real. I just realized how many divisions I can get now. Holy hell! Was a little insane, but all right. Uh, let's see. Should equipment. That's all good there. How's the ETA on getting this out? A year. Well, those will not be ready in time for that. Come on, you. There we go. Right, let's make sure that all these are basically ready to roll at a moment's notice. Right, Dani is gone. Cool. I've got a centimetric radar. 193. Sure. Start going down here. Approved infantry equipment. Beautiful. Now I can get the next level of gun. Yay. Alright, speaking of artillery modernization, then we can just expand on that. Uh, wait, what did it say I need as well? No, okay, so we're good with this. As soon as I get this going down. Alright. Well, I'm alright with this. Is there something actually focusing my... No, okay. I suppose the of World of Crats was always that low, I just didn't notice. I thought it had a larger percentage. Oh, this is being very, very hard for um, the Germans at the moment. Well, I have hope for them, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Mind you, the Entente is losing to Venezuela too, which, uh, I don't know, something about that just makes me very disappointed in them. <laughs> Alright. Artillery modernization, we hope. Let's keep going, get our Mountaineer bonuses. God, I got 37 taken up on consumer goods because of that, uh, trade deal with Lyria. God, that Austro-Hungarian ties broke it is such a pain in the ass. I keep thinking this one is going to fix it, but it doesn't. Too. I was thinking about it, if Illyria conquers Serbia, you will conquer Serbia for free when you conquer Illyria. Yeah, but I'm going to be conquering Serbia anyway, so I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's going to matter too much to me. Alright. Well, boosting along right now. I at least am starting to get a decent amount of fighters in all this. Huh? Alright, very shortly we'll actually have um, all those rows done, and all those rows equal another whole um, line, huh? which will be a row and a half, really, on what it'll look like. Mongol Emperor rises from its graveyard. Alright. Good. Good on you, man. Genghis Khan the second, huh? This dude's a... Ungrund Sternberg is a bit of a wanker. <laughs> I just, I love, I love the fucking, um, way they've got all these. I forgot that they actually get cavalry attack, huh? Well, 100%. Fucking, um, I should actually do a bloody run as the Mongol Empire at one point. Pick fights all around. I don't know, I think it'd be fun. Uh, anyway, beers. I shall be back in a second. Da -da -dum. Alright. I will say, I have half made a mistake. Under my, in my fridge, so obviously I've got most of a case in there at the moment. 
but <laughs> I also have a massive ass watermelon. And apparently I decided in my idiocy that, you know what would be the best thing for that freaking watermelon to sit on? Beer. So I've got a few <laughs> a few beers like just kind of stuck under there, which, man, I do not want to try to get them out. That just seems like such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, the German Empire should at least have millions out, or well, so I'd hope. It looks like they're doing alright. Alright. You know, I think at some point too, well, it would probably be worth me just um, making sure I'm not going to suffer issues and build a defensive line somewhere. I will definitely say, uh, when it comes to doing that war against the Germans, I will have fucking, um, distinct <laughs> fucking, um, fort lines all over the place. But for now, I can't be bugging with them. Yeah, that'll be fine. I really do hope the Germans survive. Like, my big whole goal with this is I want to be able to fight Germany, yeah? Is the Nordic, oh, Norwegian Union? Yeah, they're, they're communists. They joined the Third International. Uh, fucking... Entente? Do you want to, like, actually win against Venezuela at any point? Or are you just, like, failing? Oh, no, that all their forces will probably be wrapped up over here. Except the AI kind of sucks at fighting the commune, so that's, that's entertaining. Alright, let's see. Okay, so at a hundred and seventy days, I want to fire the thing I. Which, uh, how much we got right now? What is it sitting at? 120. Well, let's call it 130. Okay, how many days till this is done? 60. That's too many. Um. Alright, that's a pain. Hundred and forty six days, hundred and nine down there. Let's get our advanced ship torpedoes too. And they can go on my next generation ship, that'll be fine. Ah like, how long until we've actually got our um little economic ties with Valeria dealt with. 26th of July next year. Fuck me, mid next year. I did not see actually how long that was going to take. Uh, probably not worth it, to be honest. Let's see, I got 60, I have 112, 37. I have definitely gotten ahead on them on most things, huh? Yeah, no, actually, I think this might work out well enough. Because I'm not going to actually accept a call to arms. Uh, Illyria has enough troops to hold their own border. So, if we keep it going like this, essentially I could, um... While they're really embroiled in war, not accepting anything, that's when I attack from behind and quickly rush through them. I don't know. It's my thought, anyway. I don't know whether it's a right thought, but it's a thought. Ah. Uh, does occur to me that probably I need to not swap over my um, production from the infantry coming run right now, just because I do really, really want to boost out the um, rest of these divisions, and they still need guns. Lots and lots of guns. Well, they can all spread out, be weird and all that jazz. Uh, for now, let's see, what else do we really build, uh, build up? Fleet will be... Yeah, it'll be the fleet. 
Until later. Uh, let's have a quick look see too. Just want to pop in here. Done. Go to jump a server before trying to search it just to make sure you can connect her. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little notice from um the AF there. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, for a second I was like, wait, hold on, is there not a thing there? Hundred thousand. Here, your cord. Two point nine million. Let's get you. That's another core. Yay. Alright, and sure. That place can get caught as well. This one will probably be the next one I core up, and that will cost me 50 50. Alright. So, 25 days ish. God, my stability is really not doing me any favours at the moment. I feel like the king always loses Beijing, and a lot of times they recover pretty easily. Oh, God. The Social Democrat ones are winning down there. Interesting. How's German East Asia going? Yeah, they're doing alright. Oh wow, the Philippines joined on the co-prosperity sphere. Oh yeah, they both went national populace, that works I guess. Clarissa, I know the Alaskan Syndicate can um, uh, join with the Japanese too. It's a little weird. Alright, did I actually get Paris into every tile? I did! Yay me! I'm so smart. Alrighty. What have we got now? 80 days remaining. What have they got left? Freaking... That's an 80 days. Yeah, as soon as this fires I'm gonna go over to, um... The military occupation. I will do a save before I do it, just just in case I've horrendously underestimated their abilities. But you know, I'm not a hundred percent certain I have. I think we're going to be pretty good at this point in time. God, I wish my construction was faster. I always wish it was faster. <laughs> Uh, but there's nothing I really want to sacrifice for it. Like, for any case, I could sacrifice my dockyard output, but I'm already a bit behind on ships anyway, so I don't want to fucking, like, lose these Grenzers, because those Grenzer classes are probably going to be the, uh, only thing I've got going for me against submarines, so, considering I didn't have sonar before this. 264, 264, uh, let's get more rubber refineries there. That just makes sense to me, we really do need a... Alright, let's do that save. AUS, woohoo. Alright, let's fire our military occupations. Because yeah, they're gonna be done, they're gonna be done with this. A little before I'm done with mine. Because yeah, this is a 70 day one, this is. Oh, for the moment, I suppose I'll just set saving up points there. Alright. Uh, what'll you supposedly be done? Where are we done? 30th of May, huh? Yeah, that's not too bad. Should have all the guns and equipment by then, too. So, yay. Yeah, thanks for looking. 172 days? Yeah, alright, so I might even be able to launch that out beforehand, too. Alright, I'm gonna get both these two as well set to, um, aggressive, huh? Because I have a strange feeling I'll need to really rush down as much of their stuff as I can, huh? Before you ask, yeah, I will be at war with freaking out Galicia as well, but, um... Let's just say I'm hoping to not need to deal with that as much. Huh? Oh, actually, that would probably be one of the best things I could do. Let's get all these guys up over here. Once this actually fires, I think um, I'm going to try to just bum rush into this area here, because, yep, yeah, it's just planes. 
which will separate them easily able to bring back these guys. They'll have to walk through mine, which will keep them at the standard combat pace. Should buy me more time to actually push to Praga. That will be my thought on this. Ah, uh, which does actually mean that's where I want you guys. Alright, cool. For the moment, trade up as well, just while we're sitting around doing nothing. Awesome. And soon, Alright, my plans are in motion. We shall see how this goes, huh? And if I fail it, well, <laughs> I'm just a fucking idiot, aren't I? Uh, we shall see, though. I have a fair few fighters. I'll get at least a squadron out and about, ready to move. I just want to, I don't know if any of these guys have air forces at the moment. Let's have a quick look, see. Uh, you actually do have a decent one. You don't. You two actually have an okay one. That's a problem. My vassals outnumber me in terms of fighters. Though that being said, I do think my fighters are um majority of the first or second generation, so maybe that'll work? I don't know. I'm gonna train them up in the meantime though. I'll keep the wing going, I'll get some experience for it, see how it rolls. Cause yeah, I'll hopefully just be able to rush into the um second part of all that. Oh yeah, actually, I should be able to get more of this stuff going on too. Yeah. Tanks and armored variants. Tanks, tanks and armored variants. So yeah, unfortunately I do need to rush through all them before I get back to make my infantry better, but as I said, um, they can shield be worth it. Alright, I'm halfway through doing that. Uh, how close are we to all these? Pretty decent. Two point six K, that's not too bad. Forty days left on that. No, seven days on the artillery. Alright, now let's keep forcing that along, huh? Alright, Sicily, what are you a part of? You're not part of any faction in particular. Alright. Well, overall, these guys are going to be on intercept rather than anything. Uh, that'll just be what I'll need to put them on. And yeah, obviously I'm focusing over here because I am kind of keen to basically make sure that there's no superiority gained against me here. Alright. Well. Let's see how we go. <laughs> God, I need to legislate freedoms too after this war. Advanced torpedo launchers, we hope. Modern torpedo launchers, let's go. It's not doing third gen everything ship wise. We don't have much left on our civilian factories, that's all good. I wonder if I can get these guys out spotting and then we can just have this fleet on strike. Not that Illyria's got an amazing fleet or anything, but you know. Try to get both of those. We have up to the M cars. Soon enough. Alrighty. Twelve days remaining. Alright, get your orgs up. Deploy the rest of them. I don't care that they're green, it'll be fine.
Well, this is all gonna be... Probably very fucked. Also, I decided that Moscow is actually winning this war in the East. Well, at least they're winning far, far more than the uh, Kami forces are, but the Kami forces are still pushing in. Uh, Canada is still failing against both Venezuela, and they are pushing back against the Commune. No? Alright, let's go for developing Austria scheme. The Austro-Hungarian Empire. go, we're all good, increase computing, now yeah, I'll get some advanced fire control now, why not? Why not? Alright. Come on you lot, are you going to fire this against me? So I know they've got a war goal against Serbia, but they have a fight, there's Chechia. Let's go for intercept over here, please. There we go. Now you, here. Thank you. Everyone, please rush to your positions fast as you can. Well, Bohemia, we should crush them, that's fine. Alright, cool, we pushed it up there. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh, Poland seized all that. Well, that's cool, I'll fucking, I'll fuck Poland up too. Try me. A little annoying that that actually took away my fucking front line and all that. There goes all my planning. Oh, that's fine. Alright, that's okay, that was just this guy. Don't care if he falls ill. Come on, you fucks. Fire out of- Oh, they're getting all their troops back first. My dude, that's- Alright. Yep, there's a lot going on just here. Mostly better than last time, though mind you I'm not being a self promoter here this time, so I don't know, take that as you will. Let's just hold them in place quickly, thank you. I don't even know what's going on with this little dot. I'm trying to, like, catch it, but it's, like, not really popping up in time for me to catch it. Okay, let's keep going, keep attacking, keep on pushing. That's all I'm really after right now. Alright, you already, let's get infantry expert, you can be my aggressive general here. There we go, that's that point one. Alright, come on, finish it up, push on in.
I'm really tempted to actually hold off here and just encircle that and hold it separately. But I'm like, I'm almost done. So yeah. Now I just need to go take Sarri over. Alright. I got everything. Yep, they're attacking us in a few of these places. So let's move people. Let's move. Oh, never mind. People already moved. That's fine. Alright, let's change all those. Hey, everything redeploy. That's beautiful. Alright. Four hundred and fifty planes up there. Interesting. So they haven't deployed anything down here. Do I have more casts? No, I don't. Not yet. I am tempted to like just use a fallback line, open it up like that, let them spread out all the way in the east. There, spread out their lines. There, please. They pushed me out of Zagreb, I don't really mind. I'm sure that'll be fine. Yep, or not. Free walk down here, please. Let's finish you up and attack, please. All right. So where are we actually real are really failing right now? Probably just Zagreb. That's fine though. As I said, I'm kind of keen to lose Zagreb. There we go. Perfect. Now where is my tank? Those damn Romanians. Oh. Of course now would be the time that fucker fires. Alright, whatever. Well, can't really do too much about that at the moment. You're part of the Belgrade Pact, which puts me in odds of Serbia, so... Well, fuck. I don't... Okay, you. Alright. The plan shall be this. Alright, let's pull them out. Uh, if you ever thought you could lose, then don't. Uh, yeah. Lo if you say freaking, losing is kind of the fun part. Because <laughs> you're doing your best to avoid it, so, you know. Actually, I probably should have held on to that tile in particular, but that's fine. The All Austrian Development Scheme. Cool. Let's get down there. Let's get that. Let's grab these. Alright. Why this business being such a bastard? 
6.2k. So there's 80 days of development on that left. That happens. As I said, I just wasn't expecting to be dealing to deal with Serbia and Romania as well. Because it's about to mass some forces to try to do a different push to surround Zagreb, but uh. Oh shit. We are gonna need to actually reorg this one. I'm not gonna t retake that. So, okay. Put you back, get you around. Uh, actually, probably best for me to pull all the way back to the forest here. Alright, and really quick, I'll probably need to build up a fort, probably about two, level 2 or 3 there. Alright. You guys just pull out already? Organised retreat. Thank you. This Budapest is going to suck a little bit, but yeah, it's fine. Actually, you know what? I don't really need to lose Budapest. Um, I think, honestly, if I just grabbed, like, two people, put them out. I have enough numbers to hold out everywhere else, so that will just hold that little bit of a front, too. Okay, I don't know whether or not I can... If I attack him here, can I assist with them? Yes, I can. Because, yeah, if I can um, finish taking down Cheshire, yeah, I can, uh, I can probably redirect all them, and that would be more than enough for me to organise a win. I'm sorry. But was I asked your opinion on whether or not I could hold that there? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose another tile on that one. Fucking hell. That's a lot of extra tiles that I need to hold. Oh, yeah, that's finally done. I'm still going to push him out of this, or I'm going to try my damnedest. Okay, let's go grab an extra run, bring him down. in. Who dares wins? Alright, almost, almost. Really wish I had some more production at the moment. Having this lack of guns is going to hurt me a fair bit. Oh, actually, speaking of things that we need... Oh, hey, Times to Lyria is gone. Uh, light cars. Yeah, I should be able... After this battle is won, I'm going to swap out the like the cavalry recon for the um, armoured recon cards. So... over, and I still do want to rebuild this up to a tier 3. Because, yeah, that's just a planes between things, so...
You know what? I should actually be able to just last stand that one. Ah, oh, they got the damn tanks in. Alright, well that's okay. I should have my tanks vision ready to roll out very shortly. I'm, I'm gonna go for 20 minutes, you lose half the country. What happened? Uh, Romania and Serbia declared war, on, uh, declared war on me at the same time. So, uh, just some more numbers I wasn't expecting. Alright. Alright, really quick, let's come over here, edit you to the light armoured, come up here too, let's add maintenance onto these, and cavalry divisions, let's add MPs onto you. Huh? There we go, pull that down, because yeah, armoured cars, still got plenty. Alright. Should be able to hold these guys in here. But yeah, uh I'm gonna get this fucking tank division out. But really quick I'm gonna fucking um Recon, maintenance, signal, entrenchment, and support artillery. A little bit longer. How long is it meant to be until this is good to go? Eleventh of September. I can hold that. Change operative caption, like that. I like that I haven't pushed in there, that one's weird to me. Alright. Well, I will say, once we actually, um, counter push all this, that's, that's a, gonna be a big Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire. Mind you, I have an hour to do it in, which is going to be in the bastard. I'd like to... I'd probably be able to do this for the next three hours. Yep, sure. I accept. 100%. I don't know why you give me stuff, Germany, but I appreciate it. Alright, non heavy tanks and 10 support buildings. Claim Romanian land is bypassed, or Serbia is bypassed, because I have both of them going on. Uh, yeah, sure. If I do... Actually, if I do that, chances are there's a good chance I could get pulled into a war there, so I'll hold off that for the moment. I'll go get my next radar tech. Alrighty, once again, we're gonna pull these down and we're just gonna hopefully win when we can, huh? Because yeah, I definitely don't want to lose Budapest, I reckon. Western Zala? Is that this one? Yeah, Western Zala. So yeah, they are losing a lot for that. I mean, I'm losing a bit more, but they're losing more. Alright, well, that's okay for now. I can deal with that. Uh, really quick, too. Let's have a quick look at the equipment. Should be capturing shit. Yeah, I am capturing shit now. We shall vote with care. Uh, yeah, no, you guys can do it. I agree that Oligation Navy should be a thing. Let's attack with just these two, I reckon. They've cancelled their lend lease, that's okay. buy me some time here. Basically, I want to build up the defenses on this point, since that's where they're focusing their bullshit. 
As soon as I get those uh, three points there, that'll be pretty much it for me. Uh, I've lost one plane, they've lost none apparently. So probably just an air accident, I'd be willing to bet. Uh, let's have a quick look see. Air experience, we are getting some experience from them now. Um, okay, let's upgrade our guns, why not? I see a nice bit. Again, I want to use my Tavi tank for it. Alright, so is there like a tank a day going on at the moment? How much is my, um... Ah. Oh, apparently it's a little more than that. That's okay. Missing a couple of tanks shouldn't matter too much to me. Alright. Despite the fact that freaking, um... Oh my fucking god, could we please, guys, just stop attacking them for a bit. Alright, you and you. Let's go with... Joseph von Habsburg Lothring. Go. And we will get... I do have a tank command around here somewhere. Erhard Ralves. Awesome. Alright, let's build that up really quick. Russians even brilliant, boys, I forgot about the names. Is Illyria at war with Serbia? No. Weirdly enough, they never declared it, so they lost their war goal, which cost them war support and shit, but... Unfortunately, costing them a bit of war support is not enough to really change shit in my favour. Yeah, the Zala fights really are gaining me a fair bit. Alright. And you'll be all up soon. Of course, once you're up. I'm gonna push in to this tile again. Because, yeah, my goal hasn't changed. Just, uh, it'd be far. It seems like it'd be a vastly better idea for me to attack and try to clear up Tetria than deal with Illyria. Too much extra shit on that line. Alright. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. So we have the tanks here in the front. Uh, oh, and I can actually get Panzer Expert off the bat too, which, yes. I'm sorry, was my organization really that low? What's the off on these? Fucking. Oh, 29. Actually, it is relatively low org. Alright, let's do that. At least Serbia doesn't move its divisions into Romania. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it did, it kind of wouldn't be that bad for me. need to clear up this little zone here. That's all I can say right now. Oh, if I could actually uh, uh, punch this out, this should be good. That'll weaken their lines quite considerably. And I should, hopefully, be able to rush straight through here and up to here. Or up over to here. Probably go for the forest rather than the mountain. Uh, it should just be faster for me to move through. Attack, please. Let's do that and circle this whole area. Uh, 
and you, just in case, let's send you all the way up there, shall we? Alright, well... No, attack there, please. Thank you. Alright, don't need tank going there, so let's just pump this up here. Should all be all good. Alright, Dawn Reaper, take care, man. Well, the tank's moving into a dumb place anyway, so let's just hold that for a moment. Alright, there we go. Oh wait, did I lose this down here while I was focusing up there? I did. Fuck me. Some attack going on. I'm gonna pull these across and get them to push on up. Huh? Why is it? oh because uh, Poland managed to se uh, seize Galicia in the chaos, and Poland is part of the Reich's packet war with the Moscow Accord, which the Kingdom of Ukraine is a part of. Huh? So yeah, I'm not at war with any of them, that's just something which I'll deal with later. Alright, come on, we're almost through. Oh, come on. Were you guys really moving out of there? Let's see. Them. Let's keep you locked, locked down. You, once again. Come on. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. What? What? What, did you just stop defending this line at all? Alright, well that's interesting. Those ones just need to stay up there for a minute. Uh, okay, well this is all just a problem, really. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I think I need to use my tanks to actually fix this up. Basically just start... Um, of pulling through whatever holes they make of themselves. Like this one here. We'll rush through Nitria, then freaking get that, hopefully encircling those two. I'm sure as soon as these guys are out of this hole. Eh. It's not the worst it could be. I just don't know when that would have happened. I thought we were all G. So, you know. 
bit of a fuck up where I'm not quite certain how it happened. But yeah, alright, that's why it's not there. That whole gear you are. I will grab one of these divisions though and refill this up. Now we got two attacking him. Damn it. Yeah, I'm really not going to be able to do this before the album mission tonight. Damn it. Well, I mean, if, if I knew Romania and Serbia were going to declare on me bloody, uh, before the outset of the war, I probably would have he held on, but, uh, I didn't, so shit happens. Let's grab you guys. Actually, delete you there. Put you up there. Uh, probably push you there. Alright. Plan to kill them all off like that. Alright, what am I sitting at? 347,000 dead? Yeah, right on. Not doing the best. Oh, really quick. I'm gonna force this in. Actually, no, you know what? You just get on moving to your province, because I just realised there is no one in that province. <laughs> I wouldn't be calling them strong, I would have crushed Romania. Um, had this just been a fight against me and them, or just me, them, and Serbia. It's just the fact, most of the forces that I'm actually having trouble with are the Illyrians. To be honest. I mean, I am kind of keen to pl uh, play out them, but, you know. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's see if we can actually um, kick him out of that tile, because if I can kick him out of that tile, I can lower off these two. And that would be very, very nice to keep pushing through. Uh, oil. Let's grab, like, I don't know, six factories worth of oil. Probably worth it. Alright, spread it around. Alright, ah, right, counter attack them, please. Let's try to keep it pinned. Same going on down here, please. All of you push on through. Actually, can't do that one. I just need reinforcements into this tank division. That's really all I need right now. <laughs> Which I can't get from this. Alright, well. Wait. No, hold up. Oh, tank, come here. So I should be able to just bum rush this straight up north at the moment if I can manage that. 168 days on my next one. Hell yes. Yeah, I know Germany's dying. Fortunately, it's mainly against the freaking um, Russians, though. Come on, you go, 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 go. Alright, 
advanced light guns, cool. Let's get the next advanced hit and cruiser, uh, destroyer, sorry. them in place while freaking these guys move over. Cool. Alright. Never mind. Just hold you in place, I guess. Oh, what a pain. Oh, hey, we got this. Uh, these guys, though. Uh, there we go. Let's get you in there. Oh, All right, cool. And we got that too. You. Same deal. Right. Right. Right here. Get into this tile. God, the slow loss is just bleeding me fucking hard. I just, I don't have the equipment to really try to rush them out and make a big play of numbers. Okay, let's uh, do it like this. Huh? Should we be able to get... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get isolated from pushing down like this. Pokemon. Yes! I'm so late it. Ah, but they're gonna try to push me from down there. Do have another group coming over? Fuck. That might be the play that ruins me. Come on, you lot. Attack, attack. Move you down here. Is it still? I believe I can pump these guys across, sir. I think we can save people. Come on. Make you fuck up there now. 100% guarantee. Yes, alright. Never mind. We might not be completely fucked. We can do this. We can do this. Ah, uh, there you go, my big burly boys. Or, uh, I shed a tear. Well, shit. There you go, my heavy tanks. So that's anything really major there. Oh, I crashed. Uh, okay. Well, um. <laughs> well, wow. good question on what happened, game. I was hoping you could tell. I'll have to check my crash log. Ah. Mind you, for now, I got 40... Damn it. This is... Screw you, game. I was only going to be going for, like, another 20 minutes, too. <laughs>
at least on this one. Uh, did, uh, well, let's double check all this. All right. Well, I have no clue what people are about there, but anyway. So this has been going pretty well. I'll still, I'll continue it. I'll boost it back up um, and keep going, but with how long this thing takes to load, I, I might be going for more like 10 minutes now, more than 20. I mean, barring the loss of my tanks, which does suck, but they were already getting quite weakened anyway. Um, I might freaking... I need to modify that division template before I go building it up again. Oh, wait, hold on. How far back's the auto? I forgot what month I was in. Uh, anyway, we're loading up now. Let's go back to the live. There we go. The auto was this stage of everything, so I still have my tanks at this point. I'm still going to try to do this push, to be honest. Yeah, no, you know what? That's fine, I think I can hold. Uh... Well, um, I have a strange sneaking sensation that something is fucked. And I might need to repair... a lot. <laughs> well, um... What an anticlimactic end! Um... Because for a change, I'm not going to say like 100% I was going to win that, or that I was going to lose that. Um, I'm fairly certain with a few good maneuvers I could have actually uh, won the war, but I can't 100% say that. I mean, shit happens. I mean, look at how I lost in my heavy tanks. I did win the overall strategic ga uh, gambit, but didn't do much for everything else. Uh, well, for now, I guess I'll just say, recording-wise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.